Am I carrying any weapons or anything? Are you? Don't get weapons. Use the power of money. I buy my way through my battles. Mm -hmm. I would yeah, like to purchase of, the victory from you. Throw a bunch of like gold coins all over the ground, and then just heat metal, fucking molten gold all over the fucking playing field. <laughs> Difficult terrain. I go coins. There we go. Or you know, just <laughs> hand it out to him, and then use heat metal while it's in his hand. Oh, we are in the tavern. A final mm -hmm. jolt cafe. Yeah, you're right. I am an earthbender. <laughs> Okay, the stream should be up for TG to look at things. Damn, bruh. The man's gotten a plus eight in animal handling. Sam, don't go crazy. What? I could say the same to you. <laughs> Overgrown salamander. Uh, you take... Where's my d4? So... Two points of damage for my vicious mockery. Oh, so? So, uh, sorry, uh, I forgot since our last, the last time we played, with domains, uh, domain spells for clerics, uh, they're still on the spell list, but they can only be used, like, in... Okay, no, 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 the way a... the domain okay. list spells work is those spells are always on your prepared spells list. Okay. You don't have to prepare them every time. Just those ones are always locked in, always a part of what you can use in a day's time, so long as you have spell slots for them. Okay. <laughs> cool. Hey, Chad. Is it time for some rich money? <laughs> always time for rich money. Rich money, rich, rich money. You still have access to the Kenku creature that's in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> I'm surprised you can see that. Well, it's, it comes up on my thing here that I'm controlling both Bridget and Bridget Glimmer down. You can have a duck. So, so I was able to find where she was. Like, wait a second! <laughs> like, hold on. That's not right. Hold on a second. One more D20 test. See what dice my favorite of my player is the best. Yeah, you lie. The J dice lie. speaks truth for you. Hell yeah. Oops. Oh, I can't have a mount. <laughs> you see, nope, you were actually trying to make. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cool dun, stages. Dun, Get rid of my coins. Dun, 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 dun. That's sad. Dun, 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 dun. It's it's kind of the chest. It's uh, the chest. <laughs> that treasure's been brewing for a while. Yeah. It's for yeah, booing, baby. These cool bases, but they just... They get rid of the coins. I can't, I can't allow that. Can't allow that. The fuck was that? <laughs> that? <laughs> God damn it! It'll go away for two seconds! <laughs> Why are you ritually sacrificing? <laughs> Cthulhu, take the sacrifice. Take me. <laughs> oh my god. 
Was I look away to go double check my is, notes. I hear people. Last everyone except me are like in corners of the table. I mean, come on, I had to. <laughs> he was actually facing away from the table, even at that. It's the on guard pose carrying a pouch of coins. What's the smug one now? Is that the uh Um There should be like a if you go into like the actual face bit in poses. Ah. Uh, there should be like some things where you can cock. make them smirk. But that looks just hella ridiculous. Well, you're more than welcome to change things around. What the fuck is this? Oh. What is that? What is it? what 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 is you? What is this creature? It is a... Who are you people? It's, it's, it looks like a knoll with a gourd on its back. I think is what that is. Stream coming up. It should be up. Sweet. Sweet. Now I get three muted cheers for Xanax. You know what? <laughs> How's the uh, stream sound, by the way? Come in, though. Don't make it. It's fine. Woo! Hold on a second. Skip it off. Skip it off. Update my Twitch up now. Skip it off. Skip it off. I waited the patient. It's a twist. <laughs> Damn, Twitch is giving me three ads this time? What the fuck? Ugh. Like, maybe two. What the fuck, though? Oh, oh no. When we, we watch Twitch, Twitch on the, the, uh, the TV, it gives us eight ads. ads. Oh. Fuck I'm Twitch. Not, not even kidding, either. Eight <laughs> ads. This cafe truly is magical. Look at that loaf of bread over on the counter next to the bar. It's just it's floating there. It's levitation loaf. Alright. Dream is up. Oh, what are we waiting on? I just everybody have the character sheets ready, basically. Yep. I hope We're so. Done making Richie rich. I don't have to show him how to put it into the game, probably, Sam. <laughs> yep, super easy. To that effect, I will go here and I will stream Tailspire. Trim. So that I can show Jerry what we're doing here. What's streaming? Are we showing him oh. how to put his character into the game? Mm. <clears throat> Holy shit, they have a lot of sliders. Why do they need this many sliders? Make More you feel sliders. unique. For some things, yes. For this, no. More sliders. Yeah. More. Alright. That's a color. Sure. Okay. So, in order to, like, once you've bought your character and everything, you'll, have to, you'll probably have to wait just a touch. It takes, like, five minutes for it to load. 
Um, but then on Tailspire, you want to go to your account and then personal info. And then it should be right there underneath um, last name where it says access key for supported VTTS. It says coming soon, but it's active already. And you just copy what's in that text box. And then oh, Tailspire, is like you can do it either in-game or from the main menu. Uh, you just open the settings, which is in the top uh, top right-hand corner, the little cog. Open that up, and it says Beta Hero Forge Access Key, and you just copy your code there. And then once it's available, you'll be able to access this little orange thing at the bottom left um, hand side of your corner that says hero forge and it pops up and it has your <laughs> hero forge digital characters uh linked and then all you have to do is left click on that and it'll link it and then larry can put it in the game yep yep keep my eye on the menu so it pops it up though right in Y'all have too much fun with that. You know you would be too. You say that. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, that uh, the Knockout City game. Uh, oh my god, throws... yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it though? I actually want to play that again. That was actually a really fun game. It's the fact that let it stops having you play unless you've um unless you buy like the season pass when you get to like level ten or whatever. Um wait, what? They made a limit on how much free you allowed to play that game. Even if you have if you bought the full game? Oh if you bought the full thing, then you're good. Oh, okay. That game is fantastic. What game? Knockout City. Knockout City. No, fun dodgeball game. Do you game. play TJ? I used to. I think we down there. Yeah, that game's a lot of fun, but you definitely need people to play with to kind of get it going. A lot of fun with it, yeah. <clears throat> Playing with randos just hurts my soul. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's any game. Yeah. Are they going to make more of that box mocking or is that just kind of done? Yes, it, it, it's getting another season. Neat. Just thinking about that because I saw it on the side of my screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they already uh, had started. It's just that it was uh, 
they wanted to kind of keep people interested. So they had to end it off at kind of a interesting point, I guess. <laughs> so you don't use possessed weaponry. <laughs> but but gun that creates a like fucking hole in the earth. I forget what that the actual it's like a fucking revenant blade or whatever. But it was a gun. Mm. <laughs> There's so many campaigns I want, I wanted to see where they went. <laughs> Especially the one with that stupid uh, 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 gun that like people just get super pissed or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> it, takes, it fuses with their arm. <laughs> I was so curious how that was going to play out. Just blow up the entire city. <laughs> or maybe it'll misfire and just blow up his arm. With it. Everyone seemed to not want to continue that one, so. Okay. Okay. Now I hit buy. Does it matter what the mini is? Or no? Uh, it should be the very last option. 3D digital? Yep. Okay. The one that has like colors on it and so forth. Yeah. You don't want the green STL file because that's for if you want to like 3D print it. Okay. When are we getting the one seven scale Bridget figure for sale? Uh, when I, for some reason, blow up in popularity, and then, ah, <laughs> and then uh, um, this D and D via proxy blows up for no reason. Do I need to name it? Can I name it? I do believe so. Ah, there Please tell me. If are you buying like a figurine for uh, Kelspire or something? Yes, yeah, Sam's having me import my. He's just, he's really just twisting your arm. He is. Okay, so then I go. This is what happens when I make people aware of cool things. Okay. What was the place or what was the site Hero called for? Hero Forge. Okay. Curious what they got. Upset. So my wa the water bottle that I have has like a stupid little detail on the underside of the cap. <laughs> Where it's like a star on the inside of it, like that's like raised up and has dimension. Mm. And I'm just thinking that probably costs extra money to do, and that might be why this bottle of water was so fucking expensive. <laughs> Highly possible. Just like a little bit of extra, you know, injection molded plastic to give it a star on the underside of the cap, and just fucking. Oh, that'll be an extra, you know. 50 cents, cost-wise. Because it's got the logo of the fucking brand on top, and then a star on the inside. Oh, they got a lot of clothing options. Yeah, there's a ton. However... Perhaps that'll be something that other people can do for the next session. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I want to I wanna play. I want to play. I only have two hours before I have to fucking skedaddle, so. Family. Oh, I'm 
I I have some family stuff that I need to take care of uh, later mm. today. Involving my father. Father. I like to imagine bringing the uh, samurai armor figurine into the strict <laughs> saving. All right, now I'm just waiting for it to. I'm once again glad I made a shorter session. <laughs> Become available for download. Yep, it'll it'll take like five to ten minutes or something like that. Use this time to open Tailspire finally. There is Gundam armor. Oh, there's a lot of sci-fi <laughs> armor in there. Looks really cool. Oh yeah. Tailspire. I have friends playing this. <laughs> Hope they weren't waiting you have on friends? me. Friends? Shit. <laughs> God damn it, TJ. Wow. Literally nothing good on my ten free pulls from fucking E7. You get good things on free pulls? <laughs> Lies. I got a couple of four stars from the freeze the freebies. I also started playing uh, the uh, War of Visions uh, Final Fantasy mobile game just because uh, they have a Persona. You're like, oh, Persona, Persona better play. Five, uh, <laughs> yeah, they have a collab going on right now. I'm like, I can't not play. <laughs> what game is it you're talking about? War of the Visions. It's a. It, yeah, War of Visions. It's a oh, Final yeah, Fantasy I, mobile game. I re downloaded that for the uh, same reason. They, I've had it downloaded. I just haven't played it oh. in forever. Hey, got him. Yeah. I got a five star out of the uh, Mystic Summon. You got a what? Got a oh, the Mystic the Mystic Summon out of the seven. Oh, what's yeah. the was the custom I pick one? Yeah, I think his name's Karik. I'll just oh Kar Karik. Uh, yeah, dude. media. He got media, uh, didn't he? Oh, he got Mediator? If he got a Fire Star, it's Mediator. No, uh, Karik is, uh... From... I mean, there's... Was it from the Mystic Summon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was from... I had a, a ten pole for a Mystic Summon. And, uh, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I missed the Mystic Summon part. Uh. That must be Bridget's stare she gives to rich money duo whenever they try to do something. Uh, to everything. Literally everything <laughs> this group attempts to do. Mm, you great. can Miles? That was just a guy who has his books. To everybody whenever they try and do anything. Except for Miles. That's, that's just her look. She has resting fuck face. <laughs> Like, well, we're all gonna die. Hachia! 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 It's actually kind of ridiculous. The first one, they want you to use uh, all non-five-star characters uh, to beat it. And they're, I think the enemies are all level 80 or something. Yep. And it's oh. fucking brutal. Yep, and they, they want you to use a character from each different class, too. So uh, you can't use any, like, two warriors or anything. So you have to... Damn. Yeah. It, it's killing my... I'm like a very warrior heavy. Uh, yep, same. Thing, so it is same. completely killing my uh, abilities. Worries, but... No. But are the uh, are the good uh, original four stars? <laughs> is Rimuru a four star? No. No. <laughs> All my homies hate Rimuru. 
What else? I mean, he's really strong. Yeah, that's why I was I've never there. liked Soul Bad Guy more because I legitimately would just use him to nuke rumors. Yeah, I don't even use Rimuru for uh, uh, PvP, but... Hey. At least... At least nobody is as bad as Angel of Light. Who? What? Angel of Light Angelica. Um, was she good? I thought she pure, was bad. No, she's pure cancer in PvP. You mean the one I just pulled? <laughs> you pulled Angel of Light Angelica? Or it's a soul, it's a soul weaver Angelica, but it was from a... Uh... Oh, okay. He's got Angelica, okay. Yeah, got Angelica. Angel, Angel of Light Angelica? She's the one that, like, immune to stun. She has fucking... Oh, God. And don't get me, st I, don't get me started on her right don't now. Don't get me started. Ooh, stop right there. Okay. She's incredibly hard to fight. Ooh, dispel one debuff from all allies before granting a skill nullifier? Okay. I just want Bazaar. That's who I want. Normal Bazaar or...? Normal Bazaar. See... They had... Huh? They had other Bazaar available for the Choose Mystic Summon, but I don't want mm -hmm. him. I want regular Bazaar. I need that. Ah. Attic. Cake. Yes. Okay. I got Fairy Tilt and Embryo. And I'm so happy. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one Tenebria that I wanted. Yeah, I got her a while back. I haven't actually used her all that much, funny enough. Who did you pick for the uh, the group thing? Uh, um, so I got one of them. Uh, it, I, so I chose uh, Melissa because I have three of her fucking cool. artifacts and not one of her. Damn. I chose normal Tenebrea and I chose Ran. Uh, Ran. I got Ran. I got, oh, yeah, uh, nice. And yeah. So now I'm just hoping to get more for Melissa. I need to do... How many days are left? Four days left on this? I don't know if I can... Left. Here, I'm actually just gonna... I can get a free five-star right now. It's really nice. Wait, you got a free... Check the event menu. menu. <sighs> yeah, so, so if you do the hunt or whatever, the hunt thing... It's in the it's in the event tab. If you click if you go to the lobby, uh, expert on the challenge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is what I was looking for. I have been needing to do this because I really need uh, uh, Samaria because I can't do Golem thirteen oh, for Sermia? shit. Dude, Sermia is yeah. awesome. I love Sermia. I, I looked at the uh, statistics for uh, Golem, and I'm like, why does everyone have this chick for this? Because she makes him unhealable and pierces defense. Oh, is that... Okay, she has and unhealable. And she grants herself a greater so attack fun. for her third... So basically, she, she can use her uh, skill three, which is like a 50% penetration. This mm -hmm. awful And it witness. is a fuck ton of damage. And then, use her second skill, it refreshes that cooldown and grants her a greater attack. Richie Rich Gold Token. So you could use it back to back turns. It's breaking down. And your basic attack right. just so does unhealable, so. Okay, I have oh, to I'm get two Phantasmas. So yeah, I thought Ruff was trading on her computer. Instead of the Hey, hey, Brillo yeah. Swaggins is planned, finally. Ronnie told you, Jesus. <laughs> it does exist. Oh my god. What? Jerry told me how much gold he had in that damn game. Brother. 44 million? Brother. I wish I had that much. 44 million? Jesus. God. In 
fucking in epic seven. seven yeah <laughs> you have 44 million in epic seven yes <laughs> jesus fucking christ the highest i got to was 20 million then i spent a fuck ton uh going through the shop I have 10 million, so I can't for anything. Oh, weapon I have crafting. 6 million right now, but it's. It is brutal. I'm at yeah. a whopping 700k. Come on, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I did get a couple of Bloodblade Karens, uh, Karens. Uh, super Ooh, happy nice. about that. Finally raised her, and holy shit. Game changer. I... I used the uh, instant uh, six star promotion uh, thing, the one that instantly takes uh -huh. them from. Yeah, because the then I don't have to go through all of the shit to actually raise her. <laughs> I love those commissions, dude. Those are so nice to get. And get another one right now. So yeah, I, I don't know what to, I don't know how to use my non. I, Wait, I we got another one. Excuse yep, me. check the Amolagor challenge. Yeah, the Amolagor challenge through the event tab. You Bro, I have to. One. I have. I have to actually read though. What the fuck? The fuck? God, my brain's been too dead for this me. shit. <laughs> well, now you're out of the game, Jim. Now you. Now I'm gonna after D and D. I'm probably gonna go make dinner. Oh, see so if you have enough brains to tell me how to do anything so in Unity. Annoying. Also in the event tab, or the notice. Maybe it's the notices tab. There's like a thing where you can get like little coins that have like the letter P on them. What the fuck? And you can, and you can <laughs> click them. <laughs> Then you can collect them, and then you can save them. Insert G mod noises here. Like what the merch and stuff? Um, there seems to be. Sure. Oh. Uh, so what were you saying though about uh, what were the? This is a nightmare. Yeah. So you can you can like, you can like use them for like actual like merch. Like you can potentially win some actual merch. Oh, like legitimate. So it board. doesn't like this. It's an exchange event. Bro, oh, that's just the normal thing. Okay, special order award. Yeah. Oh. 228. You die. Okay, I need to. I guess while we're playing it, I'm gonna do some golem hunts or whatever. Okay. Who's the golem drop as the character? Sermia? What's that? Who does golem give you as its character? Oh, Sermia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's ex she's extremely good for it. I don't have cigarettes, so that's why I did the vibrant one. Mm hmm I have... I have, uh... Who was the banshee one again? Was it Vivian? Does really? anyone know? No one cares. I'm not sure. <laughs> Everyone can do banshee, so no one cares. <laughs> uh, let me double check. I wasn't able to do banshee until I got Vildred. I literally just, I just have, I have Conqueror Lilith on my front line because she can tank pretty much anything. And then I got Ram and Yuffie and just nuke her. So I'm looking at getting like Watchers Scoozy up so I can use some I use Zenya things. just to tank everything pretty much and then throw in other characters where I can. Yeah, it was Vivian for uh, Banshee. Okay. Yeah, I got. I have a Vivian. I just haven't used that much yet. I just can't do anything to this fucking uh, Golem, though. Like, every time I try to... I tried using Lilius and I tried using Adventure Ross because I saw they used they were mm -hmm. recommended and stuff and I have Tamarine and Soul Bad Guy, but it just doesn't do enough. And Melissa works too. I don't have Melissa. Oh yeah, you're goddamn. Okay. Well <laughs> Yeah, I got a well, lot of damn really bad. sporadic red characters. Uh I have Lilius, Lydica, Colic. Okay. Do you have do you have Silverblade Araminta Araminta or however, however you pronounce her? Nope. Okay. They removed, She's a moonlight though. Like, come on. Yeah, they removed they removed her unhealable. I'm so mad. Did really? 
Yeah, they removed her unhealable. She all she does is burn now, that's it. She's still better than haste. Yeah, apparently haste is fucking Okay. I wanna get Briar Witch Assyria, but everybody says she's useless. Mm-hmm. I still want to get her though, because I like her animation. Like her skill three animation is just. Mm. Mm hmm. I definitely get that. I have, there's a lot of characters I want just for having their animations every once in a while. For the for the Mystic Summon, uh, the four star I have is Kitty Clarissa, because yeah, I don't have Kitty Clarissa. <laughs> I've done um, seven ten summons on the custom Mystic Summon, by the way, and I have not got my fucking Operator Secret yet. Fuck you, Larry. Damn. <laughs> Are you uh, blaming me? And then the You know five, why. The five star I got is top model Luluka. Like I asked. <laughs> Although I, I'm just glad that the custom mystic is gonna last for a couple of months. I would have been pissed if it was just like a couple weeks oh, yeah. period or something. Get you like farm farm through the mystic metals and stuff like that. Yeah, the main I finished downloading Jerry. No, it's still processing. Try refreshing the page. I have been. Oh, <laughs> That's ten to fifteen, but please allow up to one business day. So, Sounds right, like you might we'll just get started. <laughs> uh, no, we we can just start, and then you know, maybe you can go through a dramatic transformation later. <laughs> Dramatic transformation. This isn't even my final form. Uh. The fucking uh, his ascension. It's happening! It's happening! Oh. Now we just look like we're in a cult. I assumed you guys were, frankly. Sacrificing our head cultist. <laughs> you had the Kool Aid first. It's only fair. <laughs> you will be soon, motherfucker. Thank you, Expeditions. I finally managed to get into the fucking level ninety gear. Okay. I need to do expeditions more. I don't. I don't like doing them. They're more of a pain in the ass. Than They're me. easy. I just fucking do them and let them do their shit. Yeah, but I found them to be annoying more than anything. Oh. Uh... To... Me, 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 me. Nee, 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 nee. Me, 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 <laughs> Jim will remember this. <laughs> Richie Rich somehow passed without any effort. <laughs> Damn straight, I just I'm looked for it. it. Yeah, let's fucking go! Oh god, they're burning each other. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> On the way back from the thing. Oh shit, a golem! <laughs> that doesn't hey, seem no. right. Oh shit, a golem! Oh, Why'd you look I angry? Why is this burning red? <laughs> Two people unconscious. Get yelled at. I did nothing. I even said, this looked weird. I called for help. <laughs> well, you're the one who broke school property, man. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was unconscious. <laughs> right. And it your was point wild. Is... That doesn't justify what you did to the golem. I didn't do anything. I was unconscious. <laughs> uh, but now that everyone's recovered, it's been a, it's been another month at Strixhaven. You've all been attending your classes and such, bumping to each other, doing general studies and what what have you. Richie Rich has been doing his thing, going to the Strixhaven Star as Grayson invited him on occasion. I'll be out with local papers, vice of fluff pieces. What have you been doing in there? 
local star? Is that like the newspaper club? Yeah, the Strixhaven star. Remember, uh, Grayson was like, hey, you should come drop by sometime. Obviously, you know, been networking, getting to know all the cool kids, as well as writing amazing pieces to boost the popularity and influence of the Goldo family. <laughs> you know what? Will, will me your choice of diplomacy, persuasion, or intimidation? Your choice. Let's see. Intimidation. I, I, it's on the table. It's on the table. You can you take want the it. money, don't you? <laughs> you be a fool! I don't think they have diplomacy anymore, Larry. But I'll roll persuasion. Let's see how this goes. I always forget. I always think of Pathfinder. I think of all the skill lists. Ready to go. 15 oh, plus 6, 21 for persuasion. 21. You've been... You and Grayson and a couple of the Strixhaven star students... I've been I've been writing some papers every time you get the chance. You've been talking up your family and like telling them like local like deals going on. People kind of talk like, oh yeah, no, Richie Rich has been actually enrolled in school. You have got left your brother saying, hey, we a lot of students drop by asking for some of those new uh, horn rings you've been talking about. <laughs> Make they're making a killing saying Richie told them. <laughs> Right. And Miles here has been going about his business, studying and what have you. But every now and then, bumping into Lorene, who's been having trouble studying. You've been studying together on and off, been helping each other in your classes. Uh, roll me a d20 of your choice for which how you've been helping out. For like arcane, history, religion. Oh, is Miles dead? Did you want, did you want me? To yes. Yeah, you're Miles. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about my bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought we were talking about the other Miles. Miles got... What are the Miles, you gotta go to the extra Miles. You, you said to do what now? Arcane, history, or religion. Your choice of one of the three. Oh, by the way, you have a student dice now, Jerry. You may use them whenever you whenever you want. Nice. Ooh. Student dice? What is a student dice? Is you get a 1d4 of persuasion whenever you want. 25 for, for uh, history? 25? Damn, you've been digging over some of the older texts in the library then and been really uncovering a lot of things. You and Louise have been like discussing points and she's been talking about some old plays she's been in, like going over some of these topics. You've been like really going over a bunch. So in between class, you've been hanging out going over stuff. And uh, you've uncovered a couple of like rare things that some people have hidden in the old textbooks, and you've been kind of decoding them with her. And you've you've uncovered a, a level two spell of your choice from your list. Well, ain't that just diddly darn cool? And a level two spell slot. And the know it all gets know it all. Ooh, fucking spoil me. <laughs> and you've been such a help. Lorene has given you a free ticket to the uh, next Strixhaven show if you would like to show up or on her. Oh. Strixhaven oh, show, is that like the USO show? or? <laughs> it's like various performances that go on. Could be a band, could be a... Could be a play. Gotcha, it's the Strixhaven college fucking talent show. Oh, hell yeah. Rich Buddy's gotta go. We Let's gotta perform. Go. Yeah. We gotta win. Yeah. What is your How act so? going to be? P pray tell. What would you do for an act of this? You don't have to go on stage. You could probably money? talk about going Iron lifting. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh no, gold lifting. Just weights made of gold. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that, that hurts. This is stupid. Uh, G Money has been just pumping iron in his off time, getting his mind off of things. Almost, you know, trying to keep his family's practice. If his family shows up even once, they won't question what he's been up to. Keeping up the old practices. Roll yeah. me a, um... Ah, what would be best? 
You could roll me a blank strength check or a. I think athletics. Would be yeah, or athletics. Yeah. Chest does something. Thirteen. A thirteen for athletics. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've been you've been keeping up good practice at the uh, at the Iron Lifters. Everyone knows you're you're a regular around the place, and you have earned a student dice for strength for a student dice at your leisure. Yeah! Let's go! You just, you see him just... And Bridget has, ever since the incident, has been, uh... He's been... He's been hanging out in the library a lot. In a bit of research, because the things that have been happening to her aren't super fantastic. <laughs> so, she's kind of... maybe in a paranoid study frenzy. Attempting to figure out what happened in both situations <laughs> ever since an incident it has been quiet that doesn't help her <laughs> <laughs> just i'm just making sure everyone knows it's ever since that classes have been running relatively smooth nothing's been interrupting like little tests and anything no mimics the waiting, the insufferable waiting. She is rushing up on pretty much everything, considering the arcane, bothering the piss out of the librarian. Uh, Only perception. All times. Perception. Okay. Let's see. I'm not super at this. <laughs> yeah. How would you want? That is yeah. a. Where the fuck? Sixteen. Sixteen? There we go. Uh, you... When you've been in the library, you've been, like, getting your books, going over things, like, keeping an eye out for things. You've noticed that there is another... Like, another Minotaur that reminds you of Richie, but a lot more, like, soft-spoken. And every now and then he will, like, bring you books that have been requested, and you've gotten to know him a little bit. He is does more your knocks. Every now and then he would, like, help you, like, find your books you need and suggest new literature for you to go over you've been looking for. The only pen that I have is a fucking gold ink pen. <laughs> fucking Perfect. <laughs> okay. Des Mori... What was his last name? Yawn ask. Why are uh, Y A R N O S K? Okay. And with his help and just general pointers he's been giving you as a second year student in the Biblioplex, no, no. he has he has shown you a couple of good pieces of literature that let you learn a new, another level to spell, and you've channeled a bit more of your magic through his ed teachings to get another level to spell slot as well. Okay. That's not the right one. That's fucking. That's roll 20. We don't need roll 20. And now we come to Skumari. Uh, <laughs> uh, Skip Molly, after about a week of your classes, you, you bump into a bit of a lop-legged Jim the Bard with his buddy Johnny the Minotaur. What do you do? I say, hey Jim, uh, it's, been a, it's been a while, buddy. I uh, haven't uh, seen you since the uh, competition, huh? Hey, hold up! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, Jim kind of looks like I'm feeling better now, for Sunny Boy, but uh, why would you to melt my leg like that? It, it wasn't supposed to turn out like that, okay? I my spell went out of control and things went wrong. I am so sorry about that. Uh, also, I think uh, I think I still have your harp or lyre or whatever, right? I bring it out of my. Oh my god, it's right! You fucking... I have been looking everywhere for that. I'm so sorry, man. After you got taken away immediately, I I uh, couldn't find you afterwards. I 
tried looking for you, but I could never find you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, here, if you want it back, then uh, feel free to, you know, take back what's yours. <laughs> Roll me diplomacy with advantage. There's Not no diplomacy, uh, persuasion, I'm sorry. Persuasion. Okay. My Pathfinder days have broken me. <laughs> Pathfinder was a nice system. Lots of content. 16, and roll again. Okay. Whoop, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, good thing, good thing advantage is a thing. So, 19. For 19. Jim, mighty kind of you. After incident, I thought I was going to have to, you know... Go on a long, convoluted scheme and make a tale about how you were a snail bathing bumpkin, but uh, I guess I'll drop that plan for now. You see, and you see out of the corner, like, you see Johnny, like, kind of hide a box in his cloak a little bit. <laughs> like, but honestly, I'd like to take you on again in another game if you ever find that Miles fellow. Take you on again. I want to rematch with you. Yeah, of course, man. I'd love to. And he holds out his I hand for a nice handshake. And you have to look down at him because he's a little, he's a little halfling. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I shake hands with him then. <laughs> it is a firm grip. See you around campus. Skip. Yeah. I'm See you, man. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we can uh, be on better terms from now on. <laughs> Hold on. Computer's not knocking. Better call geeks and knocking. Okay, mic's back on. Okay. Here we go. So I, that, that was better than I thought I was going to go. I thought I was about to have a thing I go around there. You rolled good. <laughs> well, we yeah, I wanted to be angry. friends with him, man. I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Incinerating someone's legs is just how you make friends in the cultist culture. I am not a cultist, okay? I, I am sacrificed that limb to your god. You should be thanking me. This, this Just be, remember, be... I am a kind and considerate cleric that has never done wrong in his life, okay? This would be Richie's, Richie's way of doing it would be melt the leg and then give them the money to fix it and just be like, okay, you're fine now. What do you mean? I'm giving them your golden leg. Yeah, you get him a Honestly, I'm some. Honestly, I'm surprised that one as well as it did too, though. I was like, oh, he's returning his instrument. <laughs> it's so fun if that one was what went through. <laughs> My <laughs> lord. It's, it was legitimately, if you didn't turn that back in, it was going to be a disadvantage. <laughs> it's not my fault if you lost it. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, it's not like I made you go unconscious and melted a limb. And blinded him. <laughs> and his friend. Okay, I didn't blind his friend. That was not me, that was my own. Fair. Yeah, with, <laughs> with poison in the eyes. Look, that I could have made him intro. No, look, I could have, like, <laughs> cut into his lungs and he would have actually died. But no, I was considerate. I did into his eyes. I know, right? That's me with the leg. So considerate. I yeah. could have done it to his face if I didn't. It could have been far more lethal, but... It's okay, G-Money loved every bit of it. <laughs> we know. Yeah! The crowd yeah. went a little wild. <laughs> but now there is a rematch on the table for Jim and Johnny. Ooh. Mm. Hell yeah. Sorry, moving our me and uh, Bridget. Is that your, Bridget? Yes. Are we moving moving on to the next round then? <laughs> <laughs> that was just a uh, a friendly test of sorts. To as long as you played to your ability, you would have passed that test. But <laughs> if you didn't play well, it would have no given you a demerit. Luckily, Richie Rich was at the top of the heap, so. <laughs> Let me just, uh... <laughs> he was noted on, like, the top of the list. He was on the front page of, like, well-performing... <laughs> and he had an article written about him, too. Yeah, for trade. <laughs> yep. Did he write the article? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or at least heavily <laughs> contributed to it. Oh, boy. 
But you've all come to go have a nice lunch at the Fire Jolt and convene and go over things. You all gather after a nice, a nice day of classes, getting ready for the test tomorrow. You've all heard about the various classes. I'm not worried at all. So, really, really quick, everyone, like, did something the past week, but all I did was talk to Jim and Johnny or whatever. You've been going to classes, and you diffused when he came back to class. You diffused, and you've been able to attend classes as normal. Okay. You had no interruptions. There was a potential for something really bad to happen there, is what I'm reading. <laughs> but also, G and Skomori, I would like a perception from both of you. Perception? Too focused on smokes. He has been um, nose oh. to his studies. That is a twenty-five. Twenty-five. Gee, though the school's been relatively quiet, you keep hearing rumors that there have been like tiny, like missing item incidents around the school on occasion couple of, like people's magical like heirlooms going missing and then turning back up like in a week did any of my stuff get stolen no okay i'm not worried about it <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, everybody else. but some of these heirlooms have included like the strixhaven necklaces you all have like Wait, they vanished actually anybody in our group anybody in our group have that issue um, you go to the table and everything on the ta everybody seems to have like their necklace and none of them have told you about missing items. I'm gonna bring it up to the group. Uh hey dudes. So dudes. I heard there were some missing items apparently. You guys been hearing about that at all? What? I've been studying, man. Oh. <laughs> you guys have been missing anything? Make sure you guys are, make sure you guys have everything. Okay. Inventory um, check. Apparently, apparently people have been, like, losing shit. You'll have my trust fund card and my signet ring. You, you, you do have those. Those are still there. Okay, well. Knife. Do we? Spell book. Uh, necklace. Bridget, all your things seem to be in place that you have on you, yes? Okay, okay I'm gonna... We're, we're, no, wait, we're money. <laughs> yes, yeah, your money is still intact. Okay. Checking everything that I have as well, I guess. Everything you have is seems to be there. Okay. So nobody lost anything. Okay, we're cool. Just Did uh, guys? Skimo, you're like looking around and you, you feel like the presence of like using detect magic, like from your presence slightly. Huh? What was that? As you like, you were like looking through your stuff, and you when you brushed over your necklace, it like triggered that sensation on you. Okay, I. It's just like a small sensation or something? Yes. Okay. I just... I, I'll just kind of chalk it up to uh, being kind of a weird coincidence or something. <laughs> Noted. So we got all of our shit? Okay, we're good. I was looking up for you guys because I heard about it. Do you know how they're stealing it? Uh, not sure. Well, I'm not necessarily being stolen. I'm, I've just assumed that because things are just going randomly missing. Apparently, that's what I've been kind of, like, hearing, so... I would assume somebody would be just being a little pesk and, you know... And... Did you... And they never got their stuff back? Or... From what you heard, like, it would go missing and then it would just turn back up like it was there the whole time. Yeah, so it was like, it would like go missing, and then all of a sudden, like, it would just be like a case of, oh, it must have been here the whole time, kind of a thing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> How do I explain this? I'm not crazy. Somebody in your island had mentioned it to you first. Like, they had a pair of gravity intensifying dumbbells, and they vanished for a day, and they were just back there tomorrow. Did they, uh, did Actually, any of them what? get their items checked out? Or, like, you know what? No, people are just. Crazy right now. You know, yeah, that's. It. I mean, that kind See, of just I, like just 
misplacing yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, you're right. See, I, I do that all the time with my potions, so I, I just find that kind of interesting. Yeah, you're right. Okay, really whatever. the things that you should be leaving around for other people to stumble across? Well, because See, but then like, I have more test well, subjects. Okay. Well, hear this, hear this, hear this, though. <laughs> So we have a gravity, we have a gravity weight, or what? what is it called again? It, basically, it's a weight that will determine how heavy it is by the user wanting to be that heavy. If we had a weight... The magic I mean, weight. Usually it's pretty heavy for me. I don't know, the thing likes to malfunction whenever I use it for some fucking reason. But anyways, <laughs> so... We had like a weight go missing, and then all of a sudden like the next day it was just there. So, I don't know, we don't have, it's not like we have like too many people in that club that I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. God damn it, Bridget. <laughs> well, in a lower voice, Bridget does kind of lean, and we were told to keep our eyes out for things that were suspicious. That is. Is cool. that considered suspicious, though? I mean, I guess. I mean, it's even the small. I guess the even the small things could be that. Should we go and uh, talk, ask forgot, people forgot, about it at all? Or? Talk, I forgot where my pillow was this morning, and I couldn't. <laughs> I, it was just on the ground. The ground. <laughs> I forgot where my pillow was, but it was under my head the whole time. Diabolical. But yeah, should we? Should we go ask around about it? Since we're supposed to keep an eye on it, we might as well ask people well, about it. Here's the thing. When we were told to look around for things. Um, I'm pretty sure that included uh, not us not, you know, spouting it out to the whole school. Well, we, we don't tell I mean, people that we're looking. Yeah. We just casually ask if people have. It's like, hey. Well, who do we ask? We just ask a random student. I don't know. Well, you what said you it know? was someone in your club, right? Well, yeah, but it, he just said it appeared the next day, so he wasn't too worried about it. I would assume. Okay, then why is this such a big rumor? <laughs> it's happened to multiple it's people. It's happening multiple times. I don't know. It's it wasn't just, just a contained case. It's just not. It wasn't just mm. contained. That's just an example. Okay. Well, I'm good with ignoring it for now then. Yeah. In know. fact, I, Bridget. It, it, seems, it seems something kind of small to me. So. Yeah, because Draz. Homer oh, also mentioned that a couple of things, some of the um, automatons said they couldn't find it, and the next day it was like they didn't even care and it was back. Wait, wait, wait what did you wait, say? Hold on. The automatons? The, the little things that were handling some of the, um, restocking the library. That's hmm. something that shouldn't just go missing. Some of the automatons went missing? No, like some of the, like, they were, like the books or tomes or scrolls opening where it's like, it's not there and it was not checked out, and the next day it was back. Oh, like the oh the books. Well, I mean that's understandable. People, mm -hmm. it's that. don't don't the get... keep a really close eye on it. There's only so I... much eyes on one place at a time, you know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna like okay. I'm gonna like go over and whisper over. It's it's not as hard as you think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to whisper. <laughs> so Sorry, are you the one like, taking everything secret. then, it's, or it's like? A no, what, no, <laughs> no, no, it couldn't be. That, especially when it comes to that weight, that weight, I can't, I, that thing is a pain in the ass. Those are just it, You know you what? To be, I don't want to hear it. it. It malfunctions whenever I use it. Sure, it sure, it's sure, based sure. on how much you think you can lift, and so he thinks he can handle as heavy as it can go. Uh... <laughs> like, I try to lift it, and I'm just like, oh, and I can get up to like, I can get up like three inches, and then it just. I don't know, for some reason it's heavier. They call that a bravado breaker? Mm hmm. Anyways. Do you I'm, feel emancipated? I'm not super worried about things going missing. As long as not, yeah. none of my stuff goes missing, I'm fine. So. Man. Hey, if some of my potions go missing, it just means that I have more At first I was to use. At first, I wasn't even going to bring it up because like, I was like, oh, it doesn't affect me, so fuck it. But then I was like, oh, I probably should check and make sure the guys have, uh, you know, all their stuff on them. Yep, and everything, everybody has their stuff. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I met with Jim, by the way, guys. He seemed pretty, uh, uh, chipper. Who's Jim? Jim? You wanted, 
Uh, he, the guy that uh, we played. What, what's the game called again? There. <laughs> the oh, one you mean guy. the guy you maimed. I didn't maim <laughs> him. You destroyed his leg. He's been he's been doing something and the, the Iron Lifters Club. Say again. And is he, has he been doing leg workouts? I think not. Um. Well, no, he's been trying to strengthen his one leg that he, you know, that he can use. <laughs> they regrew, they regrew the other leg. It, it took about a week oh, to get right. They but... regrew the other leg. Oh, okay. 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 Well, then, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. No, let me rephrase that. He was doing rehab to, you know, re-strengthen the leg that they regrew. He, so, he's uh, back to normal now. I thought that when he came back, his leg was a little bit off, and now it's was, back to normal. He gave me a couple of glares. <laughs> Because, you know, I was the one cheering for that stuff happening. So he gave me a couple of glares, but, I mean, other than that, I don't know. He seems fine. You know, a couple of things like salamander breath was uttered a couple of times. That's okay, my parents called me that all the time. See, I think because we're fine, though. He he wanted to play another game. I think that's perfectly normal. Oh, he uh, wants for... to hurt you bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. It's totally normal to try and uh, play again with the guy that, uh, you know, melted the man's leg. Uh, He's going to find a way to hurt you. <laughs> yeah. You, you went glad you were That's all I got to say. You went, like, he he punched on. me in the face. It was uncalled for, okay? So the <laughs> correct, equal, and opposite response to getting punched in the face during a sanctioned sporting event uh, is to well, actually, melt his leg. Well, actually, in, in my culture, if you punch somebody like that, they can straight up kill you. See? Not going G Money is officially <laughs> from. G Money is now officially from, like, the warrior tribe families that are just, like, barely allowed in civilization. <laughs> yeah. And they forced me to go here because they. Okay, so my family is different. They wanted to break away from the group, but they still, you know, had kind of forced me to do a lot of bullshit because if they didn't, they would get kicked out. So yeah, if if you if you if you showed aggression towards uh well, pretty much anybody there, then uh yeah, you you most likely you were killed. See, so I didn't show aggression to him though. Uh yes you did. No, the melting leg. That was not aggressive. That was... Uh, I passively melted his leg. <laughs> it was a way to deter him from uh, trying to take the tome and score a goal. Okay? See, it was part uh, of the yeah. game. Can I, can, I, can I lay some facts he on has you? His leg, he <laughs> has his leg back. Can, can, I lay a, can I lay a fact on you for a minute? I'm dumb as sure. shit, and I know that that was an aggressive thing. I'm dumb as shit, and I thought that was aggressive. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's coming for you. <laughs> he's, he's Anyways, for you. Miles, do you want to play... Uh, Miller Miller Rat? Not my, my area. Wait, I don't know. What, 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 what race is he? He's a dwarf, I believe. Oh, dwarf? Okay. Uh, Jim the Bard is a halfling, and halfling. Johnny the Minotaur is a sorcerer. <laughs> Richie, you feel like a small coming from your student card. I pull out my student card. It's a message from Grayson. Hey, we need a snack delivery up in the office, and I already put an order in. Can you grab it for us? Hell yes, I am on my way. Pressing matters to attend to, my friends. I'm afraid I must depart with great haste. <laughs> Oh my god, huh? he's the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> you see one of the one of the workers kind of like, Richie, over here, we have a delivery for you. I am on my way! <laughs> oh my god, they have him delivering coffee, guys. <laughs> they, they pull out like a smallish like crate, which you can definitely detect a hint of coffee off of from this distance. Oh, oh my god. shit. I... 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 <laughs> I tell I say to the group awesome. we need to. <laughs> oh my god, we need to we need to take a page or two from their books to just make him do that for us. <laughs> They're both 
dumbest stumps. <laughs> Richie, how do you how do you get into something like that? How do I what? How do you how did you get into something like that? Ah, it's connections. <laughs> my winning Damn, personality, man. my great stature at this school. <laughs> I just lift weights and read books all day, and that's pretty much all I do. Well, I suppose I could give you lessons in being such a great man if you would like. That would be awesome. Good. Yeah, then after yeah, this exam, just, we shall uh, begin. Just let, the, let the Iron Lifters Club know that you're willing to go fetch the protein shakes in the morning. Hey. With extra so, cream. Hey, no, don't tempt me. <laughs> so, the protein shakes, um, they're not very good. Nobody ever drinks them over there. Not since an incident someone said. Interesting idea. Maybe offer to give them a massage. <laughs> you know, work out the tension in their muscles. <laughs> or, you can use one of my extremely so, uh, productive potions uh, in I, some of their drinks without telling them, of course. I, uh, Skomori, I, what kind of potions are you suggesting right now? <laughs> I don't know. I need to... <laughs> I kind of refuse to do the massage stuff because, well, I mean, there was one time where, like, we had to do that, and my shoulders felt like they were about to fucking get crushed under the hand of a minotaur, so... And, uh, I'm pretty sure I heard a crack, but, you know... I can still move it, so... And I don't think it's broken. <laughs> Yep, so Richie has a has a crate full of various snacks and like a nice couple sacks of coffee. <laughs> On my way. Back to the Good luck, uh, sir. Strixhaven star. Whoop. So Richie starts making a leave. As you're leaving though, roll me perception. Ah yes. Minotaurs are known for their highly perceptive qualities. Damn straight. There it goes. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> like Brody a four, isn't it? Two. <laughs> oh my! Did you use a negative? <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna be mean. I'm not gonna roll the other dice to that. <laughs> Speak. You drop the supplies. <laughs> I'm not gonna have that be a problem. Ugh. You look. You see a couple like various students like talking as like going over, which sounds like class business. As you make your way to the Strixhaven store, and he is gone. What is everyone doing before the test tomorrow now? <laughs> what was that? Okay. Did you have a test tomorrow, said the teachers, and they said there would be a bit of a... a monstrous-like subject. Well, Did, then, was it a written study test? Monster tomes. They didn't specify. Okay, yeah. I'm hitting up the books. I'm, uh... Oh, using my usual tactics once, huh? in the library. <laughs> heading to the library for once, eh? <laughs> I go to the library. I'm not always the Iron Lifters Club. I am nearly I always like the library. I have seen you three times over the course of the last month. Well, did you also see the time where uh, I picked up like 20 books at one time so I didn't have to go there anymore? He's, he's speaking facts right now. You also realize that, um. <laughs> you also realize you knew your library friend. Has been mentioning that somebody's been like over checking the, the library allowance and he's been trying to. Find them. <laughs> you have enemies in the library. <laughs> yeah, the, remember how I mentioned that it was pretty easy to, you know, <laughs> sneak from the little, what are they called? Some of the automatons or the other yeah, servants the from the place. You know, remember how I said it was pretty easy to sneak past them? Yeah. Odds are evens. <laughs> evens. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow, that actually landed on a point. Okay. <laughs> so those two say they're gonna hit the library to find some general studies. What is what is Miles and Skip Murray doing? Uh I'll be trying to uh just to brew some different potions, I think. And just and some experimental practice. Uh, pretty much. You I think does this have medicine or is it just nature in this one? Uh, well, there's medicine and nature. You may have your yeah. pick of either then for how you're going to attempt to make something of this. Unless you want to try arcane. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay we're, we're gonna test this micro really fast. Okay, go I'll for it. I'll do medicine. 
Well, some, some of the various well, resources that are around the school, you can try to I brew think. something to help you with your general studying of from the trial ahead. Kind. <laughs> wow. Uh, I have an eight. An eight? Yeah. Er, yes, yeah. And you've had an eight nice. for a general bit of this year. I want to say you... Once you had around, you've kind of like half braining it after like hearing some of the rumors and whatnot, and being like kind of confused that Richie was like being of use to people. <laughs> that you only, they only. I the terminology is being used by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that uh, you Article? you you made two lesser health potions. Richie is the oh, model and star student here. It'll heal a D six. Mm -hmm. Right, testing, testing, Joe. Yes, yes. Yep, you hear you. Yep. Sorry, and... apparently my Discord settings set my um my output or my input to a microphone that does not exist on my microphone or on my on my. Yeah, I hate it when it does that shit. So anyway, continue on. Yep. So Skip Mo, I decided to do a bit of like generalized prep. Just made some potions with some supplies lying around haphazardly. Mm -hmm. Did you say it was 1d6 of healing? Yes. Okay, just want to double check. You can help, you can help that guy now, with his leg. <laughs> it's he fine now. Leg now. It's fine. I know, but like, next time you do it. He's in, he's looking like he also like, bulked up a little bit since last time. Oh, he's Ooh. coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna take <laughs> your fucking head off. <laughs> Jesus. I think he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> he likes you. He's definitely <laughs> invested in you. We'll say that much. Miles, what are you doing? So, uh, as I remember, you said something about this next test has to do with monsters of a sort. Yep, that's what give you put like when like through the grapevines. We'll say. Okay, so is there any form of like bestiary or anything like that that I could find in the library? There was most definitely tomes of. Various beasts and monsters in the library. All right. Um, even the monsters manual, mayhaps. <laughs> you know, you might. Have so point. you you heard um, about Bridget I, and G Money going? So I would like probably... to look specifically for uh, magical monsters. All right. So you tagging along with G Money, which doesn't make the way to the library, and Bridget's buddy does Homer. Kind of like knows like, are you here for various tomes again, Bridget? Oh yeah, oh no, we, we're studying for that test tomorrow. Ah, I see, I see. Various people have been taking me a couple of tomes, I've noticed, and he pulls it up. I figured you might want one. It seems to be a, a, a box of dark dwelling beasts. Hmm, excellent. Um, I slip Daz a piece of paper, and I'm gonna text you what that piece of paper is. Noted. Is. Noted. Um... Waiting for it. As so we're all we all went together, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of standing next to him, and like I get I get to take out my bag, and I'm like, <laughs> to the jury. Um, say again. I was distracted by a flying okay. minotaur. Um, I I take out my the, the, like ten books from my bag. Where did these go? He kind of looks and goes, put them on the return section, please. He kind of leans like, oh. He, as he realizes that, he, as he looks over the tiles of the book, he kind of like looks at Bridget and kind of like gives you like a eyebrow wiggle before yeah. he reads the paper. <laughs> you know, like, as he looks at it, he goes, I'm gonna do a bit. He makes a very, like, his face, like, has changed shape slightly as he reads it, as he. <laughs> and and then your brain you then hear telepathically oh is 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 he a bad person nod yes or no <laughs> just 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 no i audibly go now <laughs> <laughs> you can oh you see him like deflate back to his like normal more calm statue and he kind of looks like if you want to check out books next time please make sure you go through the proper channels you've been looking for these for about two weeks now God damn you. 
<laughs> uh, he, sh please, Bridget. no yelling. <laughs> you see, you see, like one of the like uh, the servant imps on a shelf, gonna like give you a glare. <laughs> Evens are odds, G money. You got That's odd. A bitch. <laughs> and he looks like is this another one of your friends, Bridget? As he looks at Miles. He's not the bitch. He's actually cool. Dear Lord. Um, Miles is actively like um, holding on to his, uh, I guess, notebook that he has in front of him. It's a large, somewhat tome of. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm gonna do that. There we go. I can hear myself. Um, <laughs> it's a large tome of sorts, and he just goes. Um, so I, I, I heard the the next test is possibly gonna do with. Monsters, could you direct me to a place that deals specifically with uh, magical or, uh, yeah, non-magical and magical monsters, if you would? Uh, to be honest, uh, one of the tomes that's handed Bridget here fits that bill quite nicely. Oh, uh, he he looks sheepishly over at Bridget. He just goes, you, you mind if I pull up a chair and maybe we could study together for the test? Bridget is facing fully away from him at this point and <laughs> swivels her head the full 180 around. Yeah, sure, no problem. Excellent. Miles has that mm -hmm. kind of a face going on. Just, mm. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wait, shit, sorry. He's, he, he's like, as you said, so he's like, he puts his hand back down a little bit. <laughs> and he's like, oh, your notebook. Did you, you uh, know Lorene? I see, like, I, I recognize these. Her notes seem familiar from classes. Uh, his performance going on next week. What I'm, I'm performing in it actually. I'm doing a poetry reading. If you'd like to stop by for the show, I'd like to see you there. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. If I can find some some time between my various studies, um, as you know, I prefer... I'm reading it in Celestial Draconic. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh <my>. Meanwhile, <laughs> but you now have you... okay. Sorry. Now you have a, a book of reference. You may go study if you so wish. And yes, yes, G-Money has I, returned books yes. he's been over-borrowing. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. As you, if you didn't do that, I was legit gonna say, G-Money, you have a bill for 50 gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's literally all I have. <laughs> oh, God. So you have a tome of dark, dark beasts. Tome of dark beasts. Okay, what do I need to roll to yeah, research to this roll? thing, or do we just read it? You can variously read it. You, there's a there's like a small you, as you peer through it. There is you, you know, you're like peering through it. You see there's a small dog tag in one of the pages. Huh. And it seems I to... hate it when people do that to books. <laughs> Indeed. Use a bookmarker, a piece of paper. But says as you do Bridget it audibly, <laughs> but as you like go to fix it, it like mends perfectly. Still unexcusable. Still unexcusable. Unexcusable. <laughs> See one of the imps fly by. Wouldn't be the first time we've had to deal with these. And, uh, so what's you, on the page? You see a diagram and a and like nice embroidered. Otiagus on the on the page is like various like diagrams of biology of this creature. What was the name of the creature? O T Y U G H S. O T Y U G H G H S. H Siagus, you say. Otiagus. It seems to be the page that was dog tagged for you. Uh Miles, um, like, then kind of, like, puts down his notebook. You, you, you hear an audible. <laughs> just like, a, okay, and he, you hear, like, the crinkle of papers as he takes out his... He just goes, so, uh, Bridget, um, do you, do you think we'll run into something like this on the test? I don't know, but it was bookmarked, and I don't know who by. As you, like, are now looking more clearly at the page, this thing is a big one. <laughs> it is a large, dark festering trash monster. 
as you go, the pages are in another language. Ah, and what's ah, the language with what I, I, answer? I cast. They're not in common. Okay. Um, okay, so the languages that I know are common, uh, let's see, common Sylvan and Draconic. Are they any of those? It is not. Okay, well, then the only logical thing is to cast a spell. Ah. Um. Wait, hold on, where is it? You hear, like, a crash in the background as I drop, like, ten books? Oh, fuck. Ah. You see him? Stop! Stop what you're doing! Stop! Leave! Leave! Go over there! I'm just returning them. I'm returning them. Yep. The, I cast the uh, Comprehend section. Languages. Okay. You comprehend languages. It does work on text, I believe. Yep, for the duration, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language or understand any written language that you see. Mm -hmm. But you must be touching the surface of the words uh, on which the words are written. It takes Excellent. about one minute to read one page of text. Good. You see, you see G Money as, the, as a couple of like servant imps have like flown down and like, skewed him away from his now dropped pile of books that he was told to put on the return section anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he decided I not to. <laughs> I, no, I was, on, I was on my way to go over there, and then I told you. You were right there. <laughs> it's, right at the, it's right at the entrance counter. <laughs> I was trying to be cool and, you know, stack them um, on each other. Of course. The librarian is going to feed him to those imps. <laughs> I think that would actually be fun. The imps are now, like, have, like, shooed G-Money over to your table where you're going through the, the tome okay, right now. Okay. Sorry, As... I got in trouble. As I'm, like, you know, I, I will audibly, like, in common, uh, say everything that the, uh, the text is Good on say. you. Good on you. As you're doing this, I also need an arcana roll. Oh. Okay. Summon one of them in the library. <laughs> do, 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 You won't have rich, or... Yeah, you won't have rich, That rich is a though. 14... Plus... Okay, 18 total. As you're doing it, like, the book itself is almost like it's repelling your magic for a second before you, like, push through and you see, and the words seem to rearrange for you. Well, okay. Wait, huh? What? 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 Like, you, even Miles, you do see the book, like, audibly, like, vibrate for a second. Okay, what do uh, the rearranged words say? You can, you can now make out that the Akiyagu is it likes places that are disgusting, and if so, it's a good chance that one is probably nearby. Bones and Karen mixed with trash are often a strong sign that an Akiyagu is present, as it awaits for a Karen to ferment before eating. And no matter how disgusting it might be, trash doesn't belch. If you ever if you hear a pile of trash belch, there's an Akiyagu in there. These are like these are like various like tales some like researchers probably wrote down as like a manual. Okay. Why did it repel me though? Trouble. Uh, Miles kind of like lifts up his glasses and rubs his eyes, and he just goes, "Yeah, I, I saw the book sort of like vibrate when you cast your spell. I don't know why that was. Maybe we should ask one of the headmasters, one of the uh, librarians in here, if." Uh, yeah, Daz. <laughs> as, as you say that, he kind of, you see his little mystery, like, perk up, like, but should you need something? Um, do you know how to read this normally? I'd say, just holding up the book to him. Oh, it seems to be written in Celestial Draconic. I was just studying this, actually. Celestial Draconic. Okay, for any reason, when somebody is comprehending languages in Celestial Draconic, would it repel the reader for any reason? No, it... If you were using a certain spell to do that, it shouldn't. These are. He seems to sniff his snout a little bit. Wait a second. And see him start to channel. Looks like detect magic to you. It's like there was a remnant of something on this book that was not. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to make a note of that. But, um. You see. Do you, have you finished reading the tome? Um. Not quite. Well, let me see here. I mean, make sure I get my practice in. Hmm. Oh, this seems to be uh, an adventurer's diary of like, various creatures, and hmm, it seems that the Othiagu, as it is called, 
It seems that some spell casters use the Tagus as guardians both to protect the underground layers and to dispose of their enemies. Ugh. Filthy little trash goblins. And that, he puts it over. Oh, and it's missing its next page. That doesn't usually bode well. I'll have to see if we can't report this as well. Anything else you would need out of the tome? Um, I'm curious. Uh, so, was the text different? Like, you said it changed. As he well, goes and checks back over the text, it is... He repeats, like, things are very close to what your spell deciphered out of it. Okay, I, I was just wondering, because you said the text was changing it was at some like, point. It was as if it was your brain comprehending how to read it. Okay. Hmm. That, mm, I don't like that. That's weird. Um, yeah. Might keep an eye on that one, Des. Uh, so before, um, I guess the tome is taken away, Miles takes out like a little, um, pa a little, little vial of ink and he pulls out like a, what would be considered not a quill, but like a equivalent of a pen. And he just goes, hold on. I kind of want to mark down this, this, he, he, he's talking to you as he's just like actively drawing in, into his tome of this creature. He's like, you never know. You make a copy of the page as you see it? Yeah. Okay. So you have like a, I'll say a very close copy of the tome, that page in the tome. Okay. You have a copy of the Akiyagu's biography. Well, that'll be useful, I think. Well. It's Celestial Draconic. Daz, did you mark this page? Hmm. No, I usually we make sure no one does that, and we have to cast out various amounts of repair spells on the place constantly to fix that. Because that page was earmarked. Hmm. I took it off the shelf this morning because I saw many other students taking it off, and I figured it might be important to keep an eye on that. So I took one of the last. I took the last home off the shelf this morning. Are other books like this going to? Going missing? I mean, aside from the ones that are print. Well, was... we get various. It was all been checked out, it seems, by many of the first and second years throughout the day. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I, I assume you here. kept records on everybody who checked it out and everything. <laughs> And they all have, well, all I can tell is very clean checkout records. Well, I mean, like, who checked it out when? We have four of these tomes, and I kept one on the shelf in case I was going to need it for like, myself later, personally. <laughs> ah, I see. Um. Okay. Well. Hmm. A man's got to have his books. Now, see that page? There's a missing page right there. I'm wondering, could we take a look and see maybe the names of the other people who checked out the other books? Or the other copies of the book? So maybe we could find out what was on that last page? Um, I can take a look. I'm not supposed to disclose any of this. I can see myself, and it's... Oh, I know him, actually. He should he usually come back within the day. If you stick around, he might bump into him. Uh, who are we looking for? Uh... How about a, about your dragon, dragonborn friend size there. Bit of a quiet lad. Okay. Um. Thanks, Daz. We'll uh, we'll see if we bump into him. Just so you know, we are closing in an hour. We need to do a bit of extensive cleaning, and uh, stock. As it will would you be, be reopening? Uh, in an okay. hour, we will be closed until tomorrow. Okay. So where are we going to wait for this guy? Now they'll turn... You those books back, right? He's like, once again, thank you for bringing them back, but please, next time, make sure you check them out properly and put them onto the proper return section as he points once again to a spot right by his desk. <laughs> um... So I guess, okay, real quick, just so I have a description of who we're looking for. Mm -hmm. So he's about the same height as G-Money. Did we get a race on this man? Dragonborn, and he has lime green scales. Okay. 
and Daz telepathically also says, his name is Charles. Um, he's kind of like trying not to break any rules by saying things out loud. Not Charles. Okay. So, Bridget will just hand the book back over to him and hop along. Just continue, like, so we still have an hour in the library, huh? Yes. You can read some other monster books. <laughs> we'll make perception, then. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> that was on the 20! <laughs> Damn it! But you go through... And you do, like, find various other tomes, but nothing that, uh, really strikes you as that crucially important right now. Fucking god damn it. <laughs> the slow roll yeah, from I was 20 like, oh, to 20? 2. Just, oh, 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 oh. I was like, like oh, is there going to be a 20? Nope. That's pain. Digital dice. Anything else Miles and G-Money are doing in the small G time they have been allotted? G-Money, he feels like, I mean, he kind of, uh, over in Lorehold, he kind of studies, like, the history of a bunch of this shit. So, because one of the, his fascinations is, you know, the history of, not necessarily, not necessarily just history in general, but he specializes in, like, monstrous history. So... But he didn't. He didn't know what this was. So that's why he didn't speak up. <laughs> uh, so he is actually because he feels pretty. He feels pretty confident as usual, um, but he's more just going to prepare for like any upcoming lore hold stuff. So I'm pretty okay. sure that they had mentioned that they have tests like what. When he first joined, they have tests like every couple weeks or something like that. Yep, usually once a week there's some form of a test going on. Yeah, so he's going to be, you know, preparing for the next one. Anything Miles doing? Uh, Miles is also just... Um, he's currently uh, sitting with his legs somewhat, uh, one leg over the other, kind of leaned back in a chair while... Um, you know, while we have for the last hour that we're in the library, he's actually reading a uh, folk tale uh, book that he just happened to procure before coming to uh, Strixhaven. Hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> do you mean he's gonna go to the librarian? Okay. Can you show me how to check out a book? He visibly looks like looks like there was shock. He's not even trying to really hide it. D you take out your student card and show me, and then I will take care of the rest of whatever book you are checking out. Okay. Yeah, I thought we just took the books, not gonna lie. He, his shoulders, just kinda, oh. At least I bring them back. I don't trash them either, so. That's why we have to do stock. Uh huh. <laughs> but regardless, uh, just, just bring whatever books you are checking out and make sure we see and. He's, he's gonna check them. He's, he's gonna like like bow us at him. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I guess in this case there was no harm, no foul. Also, I'm sorry about dropping like the books too. That was I was trying to look cool, if I had to be honest. But that, yeah, that kind of backfired. Anyways, yeah, th thank you for showing me. No problem. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna grab a. <laughs> He's gonna grab a history book. <laughs> I'm gonna test it out right now. It's a, you're checking out history of flower agriculture? Yes. It's something that I actually uh, am a little bit interested at the current moment, so. I. Far <laughs> uh, be for me to stop the pursuit of knowledge. I'm from and he. Sorry. Yeah, we get. I kind of figured, to be honest. And he quickly hand, holds his hand, assuming for your student card. I'm gonna reach for my student card and give it, give it to him. He holds it up and he takes a small, like, glass monocle and he seems to scan it over and you see the card kind of 
has a little new mug on it, and he hands it back to you, and kneels with the book. Sweet. You're now marked for death if you don't return the book to the library. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I don't know. That I just thought that we came in and took the books. You do, but everyone else checks them out. You see, there's more people than just him. There's more people than just him, like, managing. There were, there were like, well desks where people constantly going and checking books in and out. <laughs> And you, every time, like, oh, that's weird. Like, <laughs> With a yeah, stack of books, you're like, wait a second, what? I always thought they were like, <laughs> checking out, like, special, specialized books or something like that. Right. Like, higher-end, like, confidential books. Nice. Like, from the forbidden section. Yeah, from the forbidden section. But I also thought it was kind of weird that they would just grab them from random places. So I thought it was, like, a magical hey. thing. <laughs> it's the <a> monk. <laughs> yeah, it's showing. The dragonborn monk. And everybody that's in the library will perception. Oh, you all gonna die. Everybody's in the library? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. Fuck. Oh, you all gonna die. That's yeah, that's miles. Perception. Phantom's my my uh Ooh, plus six, that's Yeah, uh hold on. Twenty three? 23 for G, and then it was... Oh, 26 for myself. Mm. You both sit around, and as you're, like, just keeping eyes open in between checking through your books, you you both kind of both hear various things, like things going missing and things being found by the students in the library. Hmm. And you, gonna, you both hear, I'm like, gonna... some people, like, not being able to turn the books like they were told to return them, and they, they the books are simply gone, they say. And so they're getting charged with replacement um, fees. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like shuffle over to one of the students that I hear talking about it. Excuse me. Uh, uh, you, you see a small gnome, but, but yes. So I, I couldn't help it over here. Um, I heard that you had lost some, like a book. Um, so that apparently that's been happening, happening a lot. Oh, no, I'm not missing a book. My my necklace is gone. My initiate oh, necklace. necklace. I've been looking all over for it since this morning. Yeah, huh, that's so weird. Hmm. Because that's been happening a lot. And the thing is that my my brother, who's a year above me, also he's his went missing, but he found it the day after, like in just well, he thought he looked it originally. It's it was it's, like exactly a day we're, after. We're thinking it's those damn Kafals messing with us. The falls? Nah, they're an old family rival. Don't worry too much about it. Ah, okay. There's, I guess, like trickery or something like that. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. But if you do see a random necklace, it might be mine. Please keep your eyes out. Oh, uh, so would they mess with weights by any chance? What? Um, we had a weight go missing in the iron lifting club. I never like, stopped by there. Like that. I, I stick to the Dragon Chess Club myself, personally. Um... Okay. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. No, not weird. Not weird. Not weird. Not weird. Not weird. Not weird. Not I'm sure we'll wear it. Oh, wait. God, I'm the one that's fucking socially you, awkward. This you, is fun. There are three imps on the nearby bookshelf just staring you dead sorry. through. I'm sorry. You see the one hold the you see one the one in the middle hold their hand up and they have one finger up. <laughs> okay. Hey, you you good sir gnome. Have a have a good day. He kinda like after you two said he kinda like shuffles off. That, that, went was well. I was almost expecting him to mutter something like, what a fucking weirdo. <laughs> And he kind of looks back. For it, he has he has like a furrowed brow when he looks back at you for half a second, but that's wave, about it. Wave. <laughs> he doesn't respond, or even indicate that he looked back at you. It's okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> it's I'm okay. Gonna go to, I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to find Bridget or Bridget again. Bridget has been enjoying looking through the books, but you know nothing that crazy has been found. Well, yeah, usually they have to, like, forcibly remove me from the library because I'm so sucked into the book that I don't realize it's closing. <laughs> and and after about 55 minutes or so, you hear a... 
nice little chime, which usually indicates closing time. You see various students start to shuffle out. Not Bridget. <laughs> She's still reading. <laughs> As you're doing the, uh, one of the imps flies down and kind of just looks at you. Do we need to say it, ma'am? You know I love it here. You can't sleep here, sadly. I wish I could! <laughs> he says, handing the book over to him. Liam takes it and it's like, we'll see you tomorrow. And flies, flies up. Damn right you will. <laughs> Bridget! Bridget! Library's closed, you can talk normally. Oh, Bridget! <laughs> you see the imps are still like, just kind of looking at you like, Shake, shaking their heads slightly still. <laughs> yes, money, what do you need? So, I was overhearing a conversation, and apparently, people here are missing, like, necklaces, and they're coming back immediately the next day. Hmm. I don't know, I've been just kind of hearing those conversations, like, I was trying to focus on my agriculture book, Oh shit! Agriculture. Which you did learn that the purple no, violet. No, 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 no. G money is fine. You've checked it out. The library is closed now. It's the sure. librarians have all gone home. <laughs> They're going home. That's They're yours, that's people yours out. to take back. That's yours to take back to your dorm and read. Uh -oh. But you have to check it back in at the end of the week. Make you go. Okay. I was so scared. It's okay. <laughs> we'll work through this together. <laughs> it's a process. Okay. You're, you're always here, so you can teach me. That I could probably do. And so, everyone, and then Richie, who has been at the Strike Saver and Star, has been enjoying a nice, light-hearted day of just eating snacks and drinking coffee while various students are typing up, writing, and, and conducting smaller interviews. Every now and then, hey, Richie, can you go fetch this for us? Richie is also networking and building his status and writing his own articles. Will be a persuasion. A persuasion. The Goldhoof clan is known for their ability to persuade. Nah! Well, that's a uh, 15. 15! After you do a couple of laps around the various places you, you, you've been... You've been assigned to go around to. You do talk to various students, and you do hear more about like very specific things. And see a student. You hear a couple of small like scuffles with students that assume that their necklace was stolen by various rivals within the campus, only to find out that it was just returned the next day as if it never happened. Good thing the Goldhoof clan has none worthy of being called the rivals. <laughs> As you do walk by, you do see a picture of your older brother up on the wall, graduated top of his class. You're always jealous of his horns. Just wait, brother. <laughs> I will not only graduate top of the class, but top of the school. I will become renowned in ways you never will. Have <laughs> Half of his portrait is just to make room for the horns. <laughs> the school oh, will remember me for generations to come. Once I graduate, your portrait will be removed. Place in my own. I will have the spot of honor. I will I not just replace you. I will erase you. <laughs> Richard Richard is a punk ass bitch. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, as, as Richie now leaves the uh, value contributor section, and he goes back to the Strixhaven Star's office, and as business close for the day, everyone goes, it's nice rest for the next days of testing. Which. I'll pass with flying colors. As he gets in his nice satin bed and he gets a nice, nice sleep. <laughs> That's right. Okay. As you all gather to class the next day, nothing seems out of the ordinary for anybody. As you all arrive in your class and enter the testing chamber. The teacher. The testing chamber? It's a mimic. 
teaches teaches that first group is Bridget. You Gold. will need to bring. I us know. The board. I know. I'm going to. Okay. Wait for the exposition, Bridget. <laughs> Gosh, you're the type of person I'm hungry that for visuals. I've been staring at a cafe this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bridget, Miles, Skip, Marty, G, Money, and Richie, Rich, Goldhoof, Please Report, Testing Chamber One. Uh, fabulous old. five, all in one group. That'd be fun. That's some new records. As you enter yeah. the set of doors, your your nostrils are. Violently assaulted by the smell of just rotting. And oh, ooh. wait! Are we supposed to be able to see that thing in the fucking back of the room? <laughs> um, you have dark vision, don't you? Yeah, for 120 feet. Yeah, and you see that. Uh, oh boy. Uh, heads guys? up. Now, does it look like what we read Maybe. about in the book? It is vaguely similar. Okay, so uh, wh- how'd you how'd you pronounce that? Athiagus. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, Miles, G Money, Athiagus. This room is I'd... is near pitch black, by the way. I would bet my life on it. Does anyone need light? <laughs> Hope somebody uh, knows yeah, the light please. can trip. I knew actually. I don't need it, but I figured it might help. Like, a little bit of light goes up, and you see, and you all see from the if you haven't already from a little bit of light he's producing that um, the floor is just like muck, bones, rotting pieces of food. Yeah, well, I'm not fucking stepping on any of that. Flight. <laughs> It, even though there are piles, most of the floor is covered in it. <laughs> Flight. Yep. <laughs> as you're casting light, you feel like a like you almost feel like you're being like a watch as you cast the light. All right. Um, for those of you who can't see, all the way at the other end of the room, um, in between a couple of pillars. Looks to be a large mound of something with a mouth. <laughs> or can I tell that much? You can make out its general in it. You could probably tell it looks like it's a, it has a very large head with tentacles. And it seems it, to not be, like, violently aware of most of you. It just seems to be in the back, observing. Okay. So from what we read about the Ot Yagus, what... Can I remember about its temperament? It has, uh, it's territorial. Okay. Not good. Um. And as you're remembering, the gargoyles by the door, their eyes shine, and you all hear as a message the test will now begin. Please subdue the Athiagus. Well, howdy be. <laughs> Guess are we. A rolling initiative? Indeed, as it does, the Othiaga seems to rise up from its mound, as you all hear a sting. Ugh. Well. It almost smells bad from the thoughts. Fucking ha! All right. Dear Lord, where's the um, thing with jig? That's uh, 18 plus. Where's my fucking thing? My rolls have been so bad today on this. Holy shit. <laughs> That is a dirty 20 for my initiative. And Bridget. 20. Uh, what's Phantoms? Uh, mine is a 9. 9. Uh, what's Mud is. Which. Richie Rich? Richie Rich Goldhoof with a 12. 12. What is G Money? 23. Ooh. Yeah. And skip Murray like a three. Three. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's I'm go pretty sure this go. is what I rolled. <laughs> oh yikes! Um, yeah, this is a. The Athiagus immediately lashes forward, just barreling through its trash Ooh. mounds. As it lashes out at a, 
Richie Rich here. What is your AC? 13. 13. That'll hit. First, its tentacle lashes at you, dealing 7 damage, and I need a constitution roll. Constitution scrolls. The gold of constitution is legendary. That is a 23. A 23? As you it slaps, you see, like, you, it hurts you, slap it away fast enough. As you see it, like, spray like a black icker. As it lashes out again towards Bridget. What's your AC? 15? Sad news for you. Uh, shield. It. Reaction. Shield. Plus, that's plus one to plus two. Um, spellbook. Shield. Gives, yeah, it's a plus two. Then, as you see a tentacle falling oh, it's at a bonus, you. It's a bonus five to my AC. Oh, then Sorry. definitely. You see the tentacle, you just cast shield's reaction, and it smashes into it, and you see the black echo, like, spray, like, a cone around you. Not today, slime ball! Ooh, you hear it projected into your mind. One second, I want to make sure I have this thing's... Okay. Then it would, in fact, be... The G-Muns. Alright. What does G-Money do? No messing around. He's gonna... He's gonna punch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here to break records. Don't bite it. Fuck no, I'm not biting that shit. He's gonna... Inhale. You take in the musty, fermenting, decaying air in the, in the chamber. This is probably going to be a bad idea, but he's going to exhale fucking fire. You do that. <laughs> the, I'm pretty sure that just is a dexterity. Yeah, they have, so it has to make a dex save. What is your to beat? 15. It does not make it. Alright. Hold on a second. Do the things. He's doing things, guys. That is 9, 10, 12, 12 damage. I think. Is that 12? 9, 10. 12 damage, yep. Is it a single target that is hit, or is it hit per square? It's in a cone. Alright. So 12 damage per square in a 15 foot cone, I'm assuming? Yeah, 15 foot. Oh, oh I forgot. Oh, shit. Uh, should be... Hitting six tiles, right? One, two... One, two, uh, three. So sure. yeah, that's be six tiles uh, then. Yeah. Yeah, so six. that's a total of 72 damage. Yep, you just burst out flames, and you the chamber lights up for a second as it, it, you emulate the Yagyu. Hurt! It's blown into your mind. Roll me a constitution save. Oh dear. Um, come on. Uh oh. That's a five. Yikes, as it does, you, you feel like your head's caving in as you kneel down to present to not have yourself like fall over onto the floor it's you are brain. it feels like he's it's like your brain is vibrating inside your head God. This is bridget taking okay <laughs> this is the test bridget Fuck, um this is the test will <laughs> move just straight up There they go. Five tiles up. So she's 25 feet above the air, and she is going to... You're going to see just this dark, like, ice form on her hands as she brings them up around and then throws down this kind of icy wave 
and she's going to cast Sleet Storm directly Ooh. over the top of the Othiagu. I'm not used to this. What does this do? Okay, until the spell ends, freezing rain and sleet fall in a 20-foot tall cylinder with a 40-foot radius centered on a point you choose within range. The area is heavily obscured. The exposed flames in the area are doused. The ground in the area is now slick with ice. I'll, I'll choose where it's going to drop here in a second. Making it difficult terrain. When a creature enters the spell area for the first time or starts its turn, it must makes it make a deck save. Um, on a fail, it falls prone. If a creature starts its turn there, um, and it was concentrating on a spell, must make a constitution save. So basically, it's keeping this thing from being able to see us. But we know right about where it is. As long as Skimari lets his little light shine. Well, people without dark, dark vision. vision. People without dark vision are going to have a bit of a trouble without his light going on right now. Okay, so I'm going to choose... And it's 40, yeah? Oh, God. 40 um, feet should be four tiles. No, wait, that's eight oh, tiles. Yeah. Okay, so well, let's... That covers most of the room. Yeah, let's go back a bit then. Nope, still too much. Okay, all the what's way your, back where it fucking what's your started. Range? What's the range on this spell, sweet lord? Um, 150 feet. Um, okay. Oh yeah, you have you have you have pick a little then. Eight tiles. Yep. So that'll be um, like like from his like we originally started then. <laughs> right about yeah, right there. Yeah. Right, right, or, well, okay, one tile. Okay, so from fuck. <laughs> from from this one here to. It, <laughs> One more back! Fuck, I keep losing track it's of It's like, one. from there to there. there, it's fine. There. Right there. Right there. Yep. <laughs> that's that's where it is. Yep, yep. So the entire back half of the <laughs> test chamber is covered in ice. G-Money, you're a little cold in the front. <laughs> I'll say he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. Cold breath next. Um, is that all you doing, Bridget? Um, hold on. I drop that. Okay. Uh, I'm looking because I think I did pull up some bonus action stuff. Stop it. I will say you might need some of that. Oh, that's what it was. I was gonna. I. I. It was a uh, my meta magic to use quicken spell. Ah, make so a bonus I'm, action. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna use. I'm okay. So I'm gonna use up my two sorcery points, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the spell. Let's be a quick one. <laughs> um. Well, yeah. No, I can. I can use any of my spells now as a hasted one. All right. And I am gonna go ahead and use. Um, fucking chromatic orb. Orb. Yep, orb. and I am going to choose burn. Choose fire. No well, wise too. Um, all together to hit. That is what, what was this die again? Okay, uh, seven plus four. Hmm, that probably won't hit. That's uh, eleven to hit. Hello. The hit to hit. How much to hit? It was eleven. 11 does not. Yeah, damn. I was double checking, sorry. <laughs> but now it should, in fact, be... Richie Rich? Finally. Finally, the star of the show. Damn right. <laughs> There's only one action that I can really take. <laughs> I cast Fireball, yeah. but I cast a Quicken Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> It's a classic. 
And the dex save, what is the what is your to beat? Is a dex save and my to beat is fourteen. Okay, I will say that the ground or underneath that thing is covered in fucking ice, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it oh, is noted. difficult terrain. Eight D6. I've quickened this ball <laughs> directly in his mouth. <laughs> 29 in his... Oh, wow, that's going to do a lot, actually. Uh, so that was... 39, right? 29. 29. Times 6. Jesus. 29 times 6? What? Uh, oh, wait, no, it does, that one doesn't hit per creature. Never mind, okay. No, I was thinking, like, yeah. So there's 29, it does not make it, so he's blasted with a fireball, and it just, just, everyone in the areas here is, like, a rumbling from it. Cool. Then I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do it again! <laughs> 28! 28. <this> time, <laughs> it fucking does not make it again! This fucking... I can only hear the... He's <laughs> 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 fucking... <laughs> slipping on the ice. It has little, like, turtle-like feet, and it is not doing too hot trying to, like, dodge out of the way of it. <laughs> trying to move five feet backward and have my character facing the right way. But it really um, hold it alt anymore. and let you rotate. Oh, there we go. Yeah, then it should, in back. fact, be Miles. Okay. So how do we all feel about doubly rough terrain? Hmm? Um, that'd make it hazardous, wouldn't it? Depending. So you're gonna put a bunch of thorns up through the ice? Pretty much. <laughs> so it's a, uh, what is it, a 20-foot sphere, 150-foot range? Okay, I'll probably cast it same place that our dear Bridget casted her uh, sleep yeah, storm. Well, the twenty foot, you got about that's how big of an area you can is. cover with it. That's fine. So I'll cast it uh, to like the the tile to the most, like closest back left to this lovely creature. Okay. So every single time it wants to move within the area, it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every 5 feet it travels. Noted. Okay, and then... Oh, oh. mama. I'm hitting buttons. Um, Do not mind me. button is not one you should be hitting, Larry. Let's see. So can I have one more thing to do, yeah? Or, or am I done? Oh, uh, you can still move. Unless you have a okay. bonus action. Uh, let me... I do actually have a bonus action. As a bonus action, I would like to use my new spell that I got from reading today. <laughs> Knowledge is it, it power! Is called, it is called Flame Blade. Oh, so, lovely one. Yes. Old classic. Um, I guess I will use Flame Blade, cast Flame Blade, and actually try to hit this... Lovely. Why is there a second one in the back? The third one. There's the there's, there's the third one that's shown up, oh, gentlemen. Oh oh oh! I'm scared. Okay. Um. However, we probably can't see those ones. Oh no! It's you know, as you're doing things. These are these are kind of happening. Oh okay. You're so hearing rumblings see. after in between like the sleet and fireballs. You hear like muck mixing around. Mm, yummy. Okay, we're gonna roll to see if we actually hit this bastard. Nice. That is a 24 to hit. That will, in fact, hit. All right. I'm casting it at third level. So that oh. is one, two, three, and four d6. Yeet. Fucking ew. 12. Of 12 of fire damage. You sure flame blade this thing. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> Better. Good, good insight. You have flame-bladed the Othiagu. As you do the life of the blade, you do see 
what looks like some of the trash moving out of the way for it looks like s smaller versions of this one you are fighting right now. And you all hear intruders. We're gonna need more fireballs. We're gonna need a bigger fireball. Yeah. I don't think they have maximized in 5e. G Money, not. what's your AC? My AC? Yes. 16. That'll hit. Okay. Or. 10 damage as it tentacle lashes out at you. Rude. And constitution save. Oh god, here we go. Constitution save. Surely you can't fall here and we're gonna make the record, right? <laughs> God damn it. Five. Damn it, G-Money. It's the record for the fact to be incapacity. As you, the tentacle bites into you, you feel like small needles go in. You feel like your arm visibly like swells a little bit. As you feel you're know, not too in the right anymore as it retracts. This burns more than the damn weights. <laughs> And oh, look well, great, thank you. You see this other one kind of slightly travel through some of the sleet and whatnot. Emerge from the filth pile, as it, it should be Skumari. All right, time oh, for boy. Okay. okay. Oh boy, okay. Um, this is a lot of mine. A lot of mine. I can only see one. <laughs> <laughs> can I just melt it, please? No. Um, question is, can you? I'll use. <laughs> True. Uh, I'll cast Sacred Flame on uh, one of the. Yeah, I'll cast Sacred Flame on the uh, the whatever they're called on the right here. Okay. Roll to hit. On the far right. Or just the dodge. Alright. Whoop, there it goes. Oh. Eleven. I... You rolled two times, so I'll, I'll take the first one. Yeah. Yeah, just take... Yeah. The, the first one didn't come out for me, like the dice literally didn't show up. Mm. Is, is it, what's your t bonus on this? Let's not get one. Oh, uh... I believe it does. I think I have a plus five bonus. That dice in the mouth is having yeah, a fucking field five. day. Plus five, so 16. That will hit the smaller one there. Full damage. Alright, uh... Skin and nana. Nana, nana. One D. Okay. Two. You sacred flame blade and hits, but it doesn't seem to go too deep into it. Oh, I was trying to get rid of it, sorry. Mm -hmm. I see all. Uh, and then I will move over behind these guys over here, kind of towards the uh, gargoyles. Alright. I can see! <laughs> oh, light has cast, what, 30 or 60 feet, so. Um, let's yeah. See. Light is. You uh, you touch one object that is no larger than ten feet in any dimension. Until the spell ends, the object sheds bright light in a twenty-foot radius and dim light in an additional twenty feet. Yeah, so it's forty feet. You can generally see it right now. Yep. 
if you have okay. no dark vision. Except this thing is nearly com- it, it would be completely obscured in the uh, the ice mm-hmm. cylinder. And with that, big boy here. Makes its f- next movement though. G money. That will not hit. It lashes out even with your brain rattling and your arms swelling. You manage to hear it coming and duck in time. As it then lurches forward into the air, it jumps unreasonably high at Bridget, like propelled by its strange multi jointed legs. Duh. What is your AC? 15? Uh, forgive me. You take 15 damage and it chomps onto your lower half. Uh, whoa, whoa, hey, hold on now. <laughs> and it um, pulls you I'm, down I'm, with I'm it. I'm near fucking... I- I'm just about to fucking silvery barb this bitch instead. <laughs> You may try. Yeah. You have reaction abilities. Make, yeah, make it make it re-roll that one. Good and rolling. I will. You see it flying at you, you cast silver barbs. And uh it's just a plain re-roll on my end. Yeah, and you take the lower roll. Then it still collides. Okay, well I'll give myself advantage on something else that happens next. <laughs> Let me just do this. Wow. Yeah, it slams you into the ground right next to it. Assume right about there. And roll me constitution. Oh, good thing I gave myself that advantage. Come on. There we go. Um, some come out tomorrow, tomorrow. at your bottom belt. Ooh! Yep, forget that. Don't so there, was don't a, there, was there was a nine, like There was a 19 in there, plus your bonus. You will... Be fine. You squirm out of its maw before you see, like, pump black icker. <laughs> Icky! <laughs> Does it take any damage when it slams back down on the spike growth? It, like, catches itself. Oh, the spike growth? Yes, it would! Is it left it and landed back on it? And that was a, a D4? Also, uh, whenever it begins its turn, it has to make a dexterity saving throw to not fall prone. I forgot about the prone bullshit. Yeah, and that's uh, 2d4. It is not going to be knocked prone, but 2d4 coming up. And it landed on the whole pile, basically. Taking that much. 32 damage. It just... Oh, you see, like... More of its liquid leave it from its feet, just pierced through it. Ground hurt! As it is now, G Money. As your brain is rattling, your arm is swelling, you have a disadvantage on your next roll here. Hmm. He gives no shits. He feels like pain when he gives no shits. He's going to use his last <laughs> inhale. Fuck you! Fuck, the Fuck you! Um, let's use this one this time. He's been sitting there for a little bit, so. Well, that's a. I don't think 11's going to hit. 11 will not hit. Okay. But he should take half damage still, does he not? Wait, no, breath attack. Oh, yeah, it's a breath. Oh, he, yeah, breath attack. He does, he does, he makes a dex saving throw. Yeah, so I was like, huh? And they got disadvantage on that. Yep. You're lucky with disadvantage, he will not dodge this damage roll. Yay. Okay. Fuck you, you bitch! God damn it, that hurt! Nine. Nine damage. Nine damage uh, times damage. six. So. Fifty-four points of damage travel across all the tiles. That? 
fool. I am hurt. I just you... said subdue. We don't have to kill you. Uh, um, with that, roll me intimidation, Bridget. Oh. Mm, yeah, I have a minus one to <laughs> not, my charisma. Not the shit. most threatening of voices or creatures, so. And it it just kind of no, me can still win. Wait, Rico. Rico. My bad. Rico. <laughs> Get the rocket launcher. Kowalski. Kowalski. Analysis. <laughs> but with that, Richie's up. Do huh? diagonals still count as five feet or not? Nah? Um, no. They do. Did I not get my turn? Sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot because you rolled intimidation. It's still British turn. Sorry. Fine. I need more caffeine. I'm just like I'm like altering here. <laughs> no turns for Bridget. Okay. I'm using I... things. <laughs> am was, gonna. The, the breath attack was just too like awe inspiring, so it was just. <laughs> Let's see, um, I don't think that's how it works, but you know, it's how it is. And another creature. Okay, I can't use that on myself. Damn. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and cast uh, Milf's Minute Meteors. Hmm. So I create that. six tiny meteors in my space. They float in the air around me during the spell's duration. Um. As a bonus action, on each of my turns thereafter, I can expend uh, one or two, sending them streaking towards a point that I choose within five feet that explodes uh, pretty much in a cross pattern Okay. on the board. Noted. So they have Storm. to make a deck saving throw and take 2d6 on a fail and half as much on a succeed. Gotcha. So you've done this, you have six of them right now floating around you. Yep. Um, so as a bonus action, I'm going to send one at the one directly in front of me, just kind of center mass in its mouth, <laughs> and another at the smaller one to my left. Noted. And it is a dex save. Dex save of 15, I think. Hold on real quick. Let me, let me check my DC here. Uh, I gotta scroll all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, spell save of 15. They don't seem to comprehend it in time as these minute meteors smash into them. Okay, so that's... The big guy gets... Uh, 8 points. Aye. And the little one... Gets... Six points. Got you. And now it should be rich monies. Yep. What's a gold hoof to do? Finally my turn. <laughs> Making me wait to show how great I am. Damn straight. Okay. You gotta follow up after the fire breath. As a as a bonus action, I'm gonna convert one of my level two spell slots into sorcery points. Okay. Well, you can do it in the verse. Yep, you can use them to create spell slots, and you can also use the uh, spell slots to give sorcery points. Aye. Right. Yep, but it takes a bonus action, so. And then I'm going to cast Agnazoth's, or Agnazar's Scorcher. Eww. Yeah, fine. Yeah, so straight in front of me since I can't hit two of them. GG's. No, 10, 15, 20, 25. Guess I can, maybe. You'd be in the ice at that point yeah, also. Yeah, you're in the ice now. Well, we can handle the code for a minute. It's the real question. 
Is he a blood oh, blowing has baby? Hazardous terrain, probably not. Fine, I guess. I just he's hit in... one of them. He's decided not to. Okay. I'm gonna have to roll like three things for, to avoid damage if I do that. All right. Um, yeah, you so... don't want to fall prone in a spike bed. No. Okay, so it's a deck saving throw. Uh, 14, 3d8 fire, half on a failed save. Gotcha. What's the, what is the save? Um, 15. 14. It does not. And how much damage was that? 14 damage? It was... 11... 11. 11 damage as you pierce through with fire, it just lets out another gentle no in your mind. Yes! <laughs> as the small ones rush forward here. Light! Light! No. Bad. No. No. What's your AC, Skip Mari? 12. Hmm. That'll hit them. Take. Uh. It's 10 points of damage. Will me constitution save as its tentacle hits you right in the chest. It's still rolling? It's rolled a six. Six and E. You feel extra yeah. things brought into you as you feel <laughs> poison into your body. Okay. As then, it electrical slaps backwards towards G Money. What do I see again? No. 16. It just meets, so you deflect it with your non fucked up arm. God damn it! Oh, it'd be. Oh, deflected it, okay. <laughs> but still, god damn it! <laughs> I can't feel my fucking right arm! Away! Flashes towards Bridget. What's your AC again? 15. It does not meet that one. It's second. Also does not meet you. Just nimbly dodge its assault towards you. I am too close to both of these things. <laughs> it is now Skip Mari. Who takes five points of poison damage. Uh, okay. Uh, and I can't use... Protection from poison before I actually take the damage. Um, describe the spell. Uh, you touch a creature if it is poison, neutralize the poison. It if would. More... You just started to. You get rid of it in after effect. Okay. Alright, so I take five points of damage, you said? Yep. Alright. Um... Your veins burn with the poison. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'll uh, cast uh, Protection from Poison on myself. Uh, it'll, just... For the duration, it'll, I'll also get uh, advantage towards uh, uh, saving throws against being poisoned. Good to know. Distance to poison damage. Good to know. Did you do that? You Your body, like hurts and you see the poison leaf spray out of the wound that it injected you from. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, and then... Ah, <laughs> And since I use that, I can't actually attack unless I have a bonus action, right? Yep. Uh, okay. I will... 
Yeah, I'll just uh, cower in the back a little bit more. <laughs> As you make a run, the small one lashes at you. Oh, were, were they up against me? The one that was right next to you was in, you in its range. Oh, I was right here, so I... I yeah, I you're in its range. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, it, well... Uh... It's dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna end. I'm okay. not gonna try and run if it's yeah, right well, next to me. I'm not here. Well, I mean, I am, but... <laughs> Are they still up there? Yeah, I, I, Was I'm, anyone I'm else busy. poisoned, by the way? Uh, G Money is. G Money is, okay. Okay. What's going uh, up? Just making sure sure you were good to go. Didn't want you to be rudely interrupted as the uh, Othiagu lashes out at. G money and you. Uh, you dodge. G money also dodges its tentacles. Oh! As it is now G money's turn, and he takes. Where's my dice? I've had it. There is six points of poison damage. And it is too much for him as he collapses to the ground. Oh, you got... Oh, shit. Like, it's... You just look at the arm and it is... He's, like, like falling to the ground. God. Just pain pass out. Well, that's sad. Bridget. Not good. Not good. Okay, so... Fuck, is there any way that I can get all three of these assholes in one spot? I don't have any more fucking sorcery points, otherwise I'd do that. Um... <laughs> these guys are really good at resisting that kind of shit, so it probably wouldn't work anyways. Um... Okay, so... I guess we're just going to have to do high damage <laughs> is what we're looking at here. Um, God, there's really no way that I can get two of them in a row, though, which is a bit annoying. Oh, I can hit all three of them. The problem is it'll hit all five of us. <laughs> so maybe don't. Yeah. Okay, so how many D8 is this going to do? 3D8 cold damage and make them hindered to have to use their actions in order to fucking not be frozen. I'd take mm. an opportunity attack if I moved backwards. Mm -hmm. I could use a reaction though. To maybe prevent taking damage, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm a chance it. So I, Bridget, is going to kind of fly up a little bit and backwards to here. All right, and then back down. So, attack one is going to hit. Um, she'll go ahead and reaction cast shield. Then that one will not work. And the second one is definitely going to hit. Ooh, great, nat 20. Yeah! For 14 damage. Okay, she's still up but hurting. And I need a constitution saving roll. Oh, on. As you, the big one slapped you, but you got away, and the small one, like, squish. That's unfortunate. That was on a good roll until it fucking just kind of axled <laughs> over there. Yep, you, you that do feel something is, from, like, your... Um, damn, that is a fucking nine. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> so I'm getting poisoned. From, like, your thigh, you feel something stick into you, and you, okay, you know where well, this is going. 
they're gonna fucking pay for that here in a second. So, um, <laughs> as my bonus action, I am going to uh, slap a meteor here. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I get both of? Them? Oh, fuck me! I can get both of them yeah. with both. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this 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 one right here, this this square right here, I'm dropping both of the like two more meteors. Just bop bop. So all they're right. both going to be taken. Uh, I'll just roll 4d6 all together. Okay, damage. so that's 15 points of damage to the both of them. They have okay. to make dex saves in order to... Take half. Oh, what did you beat? 15? 15. And the big guy, I think, has a disadvantage because yep. he's in spike growth. And with the disadvantage, he does not make that. And you're the, the, the small one. Both take okay. that damage. The big one is list. Oh, you're not gonna like what comes next, buddy. Because using my second, third level spell slot, leaving me with one more of those to do, I am gonna go ahead and uh, fucking lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. So in a hundred foot long cone <laughs> or line directly in front of me through both of them, yep. <laughs> they have to make dexterity saving throws. And one gets a disadvantage, and the beats fifteen still. Yes. Neither of them make Five, it. Seven, eight. Okay, and that is eight d six electric damage. Thirty. Boom! The room just blinding flash of light. <laughs> And the big one, like, flumps down. The small one, no! No! Bridget will scream as she's doing this. So, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> so I would like to note that the lightning is kind of twin-colored. Kind of, like, grayish and blue at the same time as it flies out. But she is going to scream, Final Flash! Oh, <laughs> she, God. Like, just lasers the both of them. <laughs> That time I was isekai into an owl and. <laughs> oh boy. But with that, it will become Richie Rich. The boy's Minutar thinking. Man? No, he's thinking. I can hear him typing in the like, what spell, what spell? There's <laughs> only one spell. As a bonus action, I use my sorcery points to convert to a third level spell slot. And then I use said third level spell slot. And I cast Fireball directly on I myself. I cast Fireball directly <laughs> on myself. Uh. <laughs> I clear the room! <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> I cast fireball, and it'll hit a buff. Noted. Dex save of uh, use fourteen, right? Yep. Dex save of fourteen. And they do not make their decks. That is eight d six. It was kind of fucking exploded there. They did. It, it didn't show up. It didn't have me roll. They saw the dice showed up. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't roll. The system didn't track them rolling. I have a red exclamation part point in my upper left screen. The hell's going on? Unsure, frankly. No one while executing performed callback. What the hell? I'll just well, try rolling can... again. I, or we could count the dice here. True, we we'll just do that really fast. 4, 8, 10, 11, 13, uh, 19, 25. 25 points of damage to the both of them. The, the small one, oh, and it starts to, like, hit the ground, the big one. Too much. No treats. As it slumps down. Small one, no, me no give up yet. As the uh, other one mouth. is still... Your time is done. The time of gold of is at hand. Look upon your brethren and pray to me, the only god you should care about now. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Are you trying to be persuasive or intimidated? 
you intimidation. I'll let, you, I'll let it have as a bonus. Alright. Really? Your very, like, exaggerated motions don't sell oh it to be afraid of you God. at all. <laughs> and it immediately just <laughs> dives at you with its maw. What's your AC? <laughs> What's your AC? So it's 12? Because, um... 13, okay, 13. Because, um, and that 20 sure as fuck beats it. Oh, child... Okay, I can take whatever this puny little thing can dish out. 20 damage sound about right? Yeah, I'm fine. Chomps into you. Uh, show you flamboyant miniatory. That the best you can do? As it immediately retracts and tries to chomp you again. 15 will beat that AC, won't it? 15 will beat that AC. 12 damage? Twelve damage. And also, I need a constitution roll. One. Nat. One. <gasps> Nat. One. Nat. One. Nat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a constitution of... 18. 18? You do not become poisoned. You are able to pry yourself away, but are you knocked down? Yeah, that put me exactly at zero. Ooh, you see him like, I'm completely fine. As he just collapses. Uh. <laughs> Skip Mari! How many of you can yes. take 32 damage and just stand there and take it, huh? Uh, me. <laughs> Not even Monk Man can do that. Are you kidding me? Please yeah. tell me that the wizard doesn't have the most HP out of this entire group. <laughs> well, how much HP do you have? 37 is my max. Okay, I have 39, but I took an attack earlier. Okay. But right now I couldn't take that. <laughs> what will the Skip Mori do? I, uh... Something that'll hurt it, hopefully. <laughs> Cast Fireball directly on yourself. <laughs> you think I have Fireball? You're funny. If you were a light domain cleric, you would. I don't. I don't. I am not. I do not. I do I not. Cannot. I did not. I did not Fireball her. I did not. So, the one that's, like, still right next to me, that's still alive and moving and shit? The ball's still alive, but two of them seem to have, like, stopped the, like, fighting posture. And which ones were those? Sorry. The left one and the giant one. Okay, so the right one is... Okay. Uh, I will try to use Inflict Wounds on the uh, one that is right next to me. Alright. That's a dex to get away, or is it a to hit, I forget. Uh, it doesn't say. Is it a touch? It's a touch. Yeah, you need to roll there. Hit it then. I need to go check the touch AC really fast. Okay. Touch AC should just be normal. Yeah, I'm making sure some have bonuses. That does not and look like a big number. That was a five. That was a five. I will, in fact, say, uh, no, you, you, you lashed at it and it just kind of <laughs> slipped away from you. Okay. For the sake of argument, what's your uh, wisdom? Uh, my wisdom is uh, 16, so I have a plus 3 wisdom. Okay, yeah, nope. 8 will not happen, Cap. And from that, the big one stirs. Oh, and you feel... Ooh. Just Bridget. Stay down! Bridget, roll me a wisdom save. Oh, okay. Well, I'm half decent at those. Wee. That was not fucking great. I did not mean to drop it. I was trying to throw it. You bitch. Okay, that is... Fuck. Okay, that's, uh, ten. You, you feel your 
brain rattle as you now take yeah. a disadvantage on your next roll. Skip one from like the look of the life from like the corner of your eye. You feel like you almost see like her beak has like a bit of blood leaking through it. The okay. Like her body's not looking too up now. You like her head was the one that touched thing is like she's like holding her head and you like see a little blood tricking out of her beak. Did I take damage from that? Or... No, it's like your brain's rattling. Oh, okay. It's just a pose disadvantage on my ass. <laughs> Now, G, I do in fact need you to roll a death save. Mm. Come on, Nat 20, hop right back up at 1. Here we go. Come on, chest. Don't fuck me over. <laughs> He's pulling it out! He's pulling his chest out! Pulling out his chest! Failed. Failed below Four. 10? Oh, yeah. Yikes. You, you see G Money's body just slide out flatter across the floor. Bridget! Um. Well, second verse, same as the first. Melts my minute meteor in the center. Uh, two of them, the last two that I have for 46 on both these fuckers, and they have to make deck saves. I don't have to make a death save. I'm very stable. That is 15... Or, four, sorry, 14 points Will of fire damage. Uh, right here in the, the center of the two of them, since they're kind of just in the area. I can't see sorry, hold on. Get right. Eh. Oh, you're hitting right there again? Yeah. Okay. So smack them both. And with that, that's the last of my meteors, but... I have one more level 3 spell slot. You hit them both. Oh no! And they seem to like get very pissed and to get back on their feet. You done fucked us. We don't go down. Um. Lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Another deck save from the both of them. And it's 8d6 this time. Uh, 36. Uh, small one only takes half. And 36, yeah. <clears throat> small one kind of gets in, it kind of shoots through one of its tentacles. But the big one goes right through its, like, side. <laughs> its, its wards are becoming more gobbled. Just fucking stay! Down! <laughs> but with that, rich money, save and throw time. R rich money is our combo. Is it? Richie <laughs> Rich Gold <laughs> You know what I mean! I, what do I need to roll? Uh, save Death and save. Throw. Death save. I'm at zero. I'm stable. Um. I You're work, unconscious. I'm unconscious, right. but stable at zero. Yes, yeah, so I'm having you, in this case, you may roll to get yourself back on your fucking feet. Oh, okay. I pass. <laughs> nope. No, you do not have a successful get off your feet, get back on your feet moment. <laughs> and uh, the small one I've that's right next. Enough. I've carried enough. I can let them have one glorious moment, but just one. And the one right next to Bridget. Don't do it. Don't do it, just stay down. Tentacle lashes at you and misses. We all die. <laughs> and this one will hit. Oh, is it me again? Yeah. Well, that's rude. Also, uh... Do I use another shield? All my level 1 spell slots going to fucking... <laughs> you know what? No. I'll Silvery Barb its ass this time. Can we roll? Okay. To give her give her disadvantage, and then I'll give advantage to... Uh... I am thinking myself again. Okay. It will still hit. Okay. Fuck. You take 6 points of damage. Ouch. 
And I need a con save. Put me 16. Uh, Why did you get is a 16 on a constitution On a 16, saving. you do not become poisoned. Well, hot dog. Me, me not die. Me not die here. I don't want to kill you. I just don't want to die. <laughs> and now it is other small one. Rashes out at Skimari. That does not hit. And then it tries to chomp Skimari. What's your AC? 12. This one will hit then. Four. Only five damage. And I need a constitution roll. Okay. Uh, image first. Alright, you need a constitution roll. That didn't work very well, but, uh, 13. You, from its jaw clanging into you, try you prize away before you do it, you feel something get sucked in as you- Oh, you get a unit double, because you have advantage right now. Okay. Oh, we'll see why if it goes to next. There we go. There it goes. <laughs> 13. <laughs> But you still take half damage when it happens. You do feel your poison, but you, you feel your magic is fighting back against it. Okay. And now it is your turn, Skip Murray. Alright. Um. Okay, I'm going to use... Uh, that takes time, though. Uh... <laughs> if you don't move, you can cast a long spell, I believe. Each if round is ten seconds. How many rounds have we gone through? Oh, you know, each round is six seconds, right? Yes. Okay, so ten rounds is a minute. Uh, how many rounds have we gone since I started? I started? want to say seven. Okay, so yeah, the sleet storms drop then. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, one second. Hear so if I heal, if I heal a down person, then uh, they are able to get back up on their feet. Yes. Okay. I will cast uh, Cure Wounds on... Uh, uh, was it Richie Rich? Here He's the one that's to right next to you. Yeah, I'll, uh, Richie Rich. Uh, I'll use Cure Wounds on. Hell yeah. Uh, do I need to roll for anything? Yeah, it's a D8 worth of healing, isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering if I had to roll to, if something was getting blocked. That was a shit roll, but... Nah, six. six. It's not bad. Plus your wisdom. I No, the actual roll itself. Uh, so nine. Oh, yeah. I'm alive! Not that I wasn't before, but like... You were knocked out. Combatant. You were knocked the I fuck can't. out. <laughs> yeah, it's been my conscious. <laughs> I was semi conscious. As you see, right. that the two big ones are kind of still moving around and now pissed off. Uh, Skimari, anything else you're doing? Uh. <sighs> no. <laughs> Alright. Big one. No. Mistress, make it stop! As it goes to move, it immediately just collapses on top of the thorns. <laughs> Taking. Hello. Taking ten damage as it just... 
seems to completely cease on top of the thorns. Ah. And you see that the, the other one is like, no, no, no! Please don't. <laughs> Miles! Oh, okay. because I forgot the issue, so I'm putting it now. Right, so which one of these bad... So they're all still alive, yes? The one in the middle you're not too sure is alive anymore. Oh, okay. Um... Let's see, I'll go, I'll go to the one that's in front of Bridget. And, uh, let's do... A second level... Uh, hold, per hold person, shall we? No. Yes. Da, 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 da. Doesn't specify humanoid person, does it? I oh, think it has to be a certain it size. It has to be humanoid. Okay, nope, that does, does not work. Never mind. Yeah, uh, I, I, monster. Yeah. Uh, I'll. I still have my flame blade thing, so I'm gonna uh, just swing at it for. See if I can hit the damn thing first. Yoink. Oh, I nice. dare say, that'll hit. I do believe that does hit. Alright, so that, it's at second level, because I already used it on a third level, so that is 3d6. Neat. Nice. As 15 points of fire damage on the little dude. As you do that, you cave into its head, and you see the flames burst out, and it just crumples onto the floor. No, weathers, weathers! Ooh, Dead? That's, uh, mm, okay, that is my turn, but... <laughs> Bridget! Oh, actually, you need to have G-Money to do a death save. Yeah. What did you roll? Just tell me what you rolled. You rolling that one? Please, please tell no please <laughs> please tell me you're joking and that wasn't actually an at one did you get an at one oh he did my. What, was it a t was, dude was it an at one yes look though he's streaming that, it right now to the discord oh my fucking that's that's God. that's three deaths that that that, that one cat that's he's yeah dead. Yeah. You you see his body, you see his arm that's <laughs> swollen with poison. It is like a fucking watermelon, and it just pops. Jesus. TJ, how'd you <laughs> As this happens, the goggles, student in critical danger. As you see the room starts to light up slightly, as you see... Like, one of the goggles fly over as he starts casting a light on it, and TJ is not dead dead. But something is very much fucked up on him. It is now Bridget. So, TJ isn't dead though. You see, like, it's almost like time has stopped on him at this very moment. Oh, and, uh, Jesus. Skamari... From looking at him through your very special eyes, you almost see, like, his soul about to depart. Fucking... Okay, so, a couple of things. A lot of a lot of things are going on. Is this thing in front of me dead dead? Yeah. Okay. okay. You see, so... it, it is just pissing. It's, like, blood eaker onto the floor through its, like, charred oh, wound. Give me... You need to go... Uh... <laughs> And this way, cool. just right over the top of this thing. As you're flying over, you see, like, you see G-Money's necklace. It is, like, violently glowing in, like, the little stasis light the Gogol has going. I will grab onto mine and absorb it for a third level spell slot. Noted. Noted. And just point straight down at this thing. Fucking lightning bolt. Lightning bolt? <laughs> And that's to dodge, and that's a 15 to dodge, right? Yes. It does not. To take half. Okay, well, it's going to be taking all this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whee! 
27 <laughs> points of electric damage. Boom, you shoot one of its tentacles directly off of it. Hey, stop! Hey, stop! <laughs> And as this, the you see the door open up as a as a teacher comes in. We heard the oh lord. Bridget's gearing up to fucking just keep blasting this thing into fucking oblivion. She looks <laughs> over the test or not. It is uh test over. Um, dear lord, this is a lot of damn. Oh dear lord, and she runs over and looks at the exploded viscera armed G money and she sees over you see like you can all vaguely see that there was like a small image like the planes are starting to disseminate between G money and his form as they begin to start casting it looks like a s bigger spells than and starts to weave his arm back together as the light flashes in his eyes and G money <laughs> ships back and you see his Strixhaven crystal stop glowing at this point. It's like, huh! Oh, Delosh! But the Divine! We almost got here too late! Oh, I'm sorry, babies, you put on too good of a test, it seemed. Oh! So oh, Bridget is just fucking electricity glowing on both of her hands, just fucking about to... And it is over, it is over. Oh, my poor ones. Go, go rest, and she has a big, like, looks like a festering bone, and throws in the back of the room as the other one now just kind of lips over to it and starts eating it. Oh, I will say, it looks like you've all passed to a degree here, even the test was too subdued, and you've had a almost a three-way death here. Oh, I will go report this, but you have all... Seem to be passed. I will do a bit of a extra report after we have fixed up everyone here. You look injured up there, um, Bridget, is it? Yep. Come down, she's, come down. And she, she's very triggered. <laughs> <laughs> here, take this and she has a glowing, like, white potion in her hand. Take this, just patch you mostly all up. If only drink about half of it and share the other what looks like uh, Richie. Look, like he's very much beat up as well as the Skamari. Please share with them. Oh, Lord, she this is slow. That's not what happened her half here. Of the potion and hands it over. I haven't seen. I guess that's probably why. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm... They're no, not the dude. Not the. In... Oh, no. Even after I milk some of the disease, Ecker. Why oh. is it every time we go into a test in this school, it seems our group meets with the most horrendous thing? Does this happen to anybody else? <laughs> you know, we're the best of the best. We're the only ones who can they handle were... it. He's... I've trained them for the last ten years. They know not to... Even... I heard the call, but it was muffled, and it sounded like the test was about to end, so I came in until the gargles had critical... Oh. Bridging oh. wipes... The blood from the corner of her beak. Just, yeah. Some test. <laughs> Some fucking test. No. <laughs> Some fucking test. Skimali, as you say that, your Strix Heaven Crystal burns like a violent pink. And, um, roll me a intellect save. All of us? Or? Just you. Okay. Um. That's uh fifteen. Not Bridget Skimari. Oh. Oh me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't want to get rid of these dice. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I uh, can't do anything about that particular set of dice. Thank you. The purple ones were the ones that glitched out, so I couldn't get rid of them. <laughs> nah. Uh, what was your total uh, intellect bonus, boy? It was an intelligence check? Yeah. Yep! Yeah. <laughs> One. Three. Three total. Ooh. No, no, minus one. So, I... Uh, one. One. A modified <laughs> one! <laughs> I I oh, I put this as a one to five. Oh boy. 
You, so Bridget and Richie are both, like, looking at, you see, like, the crystal glow, and you see Skamari's eyes just, <gasps> as, like, light erupts. As you all now around him see visions of just violent nightmares erupt out of Skamari. And the Proctor is, like, blown back as she just crumples as you all see these visions. You, Miles, you, you are just out of the range. You see this take, you see this happen. Dear God, are you okay? <laughs> it is, like, currently happening. You see, like, Skamari, like a, like a violent purple light pour out of Skamari. And it's almost like, um, like tiny ghosts of like, uh, like magical energy pour out of him, and like affect everything around him. Oof. As Bridget and <laughs> Richie are now caught up in this, I need an to check for both of them. You, Bridget, I do believe you see for just the faintest moment. Do you think you see something that reminds you of that of that mask you saw in the puddle? Jesus. Oh! Oh wow, that's a fucking 25 for me. You, you see this and immediately fight back these images and back away slightly. Rich Yolahan takes another blunt of it with Skamari as you both... I got a 5. Yeah, you did. You see haunting visions. As you see, you see the vision of like your family abode like in flames. You see, like, your family members dead on spikes in the front yard. You see, like, and in, in the back you see, like, your, your card, your, your bank card in your hand just flutter into ashes. Skimara, you see your home village just being decimated by an unholy force. As you see your mentor just uh, erupt into a purple flame in front of you as he asks, Why? As you snap back to this plane, and you both take five damage. Hey, what? Shit. <laughs> Bridget is going to run over to the Proctor. The Proctor is just frothing at the mouth. As you see the oh. girl goal, emergency assistance, as it starts to, like, emanate what you recognize is like healing ward, and everybody gets five HP back. That's nice. Um, oh. Immediately, and I'm pulling out my student card and gonna be sending a message to magical. As you're or doing magic this, M a bunch like two other like instructing proctors run over. Oh lord! And they just start like ushering out, and they start taking reports of what has happened. Oh, I'm not really. A, no, like, you're up. Reports. You are I'm up, like, but you're like, whoa. The the proctor got you up. You feel you you can like feel your arm when you were getting up. It feels like it is a noodle to you at this point. Like it was like you can barely like lift it at this moment. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Yeah, you just kind of passed out, and you like thought you were you everything was starting to grow cold as you felt like. A real weight was lifted off of your side before you felt like you were frozen, and all you could see was glaring lights in your vision until you <gasps> snapped back with the proctor looking at you. You all saw this proctor when you entered the chamber, by the way, so it wasn't like a shock they were there. But yeah, and they just start taking notes of everything, and it's like, I think. This is, wow, we haven't seen something like this. We've done this test for ten years, basically. No, 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 this wasn't, this wasn't the test. Something went wrong here. Uh, what happened? Does the, yeah, the, the proctor is I like I need to speak to the dean. Um, uh, they, they pull out a small, like, crystal tablet, and they activate it, and do 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 and poof, puff a smoke. Hi, right, what do you need me for? Oh! Oh, this is not what I expected to see after coming back to the first completed test. Uh, yes, magic out. Uh, we have a... I can see it's a problem. I excuse us. Go go take the other test. I will handle this. Thank you, Dean. And they go take off to go conduct the other tests for the day. 
They they take the other proc to the infirmary. So what in the blazes happened here? Okay, first off, these creatures that are her pets or something. Um, yes, yes, were, Merriweather trained these since ten years were, ago. They were overly aggressive, and they were using things they were not meant to use in this test. They were attempting to legitimately kill us. They're supposed to knock you out. It's a test. But seriously, his how? arm exploded, and he almost died. He looks over. Oh yeah, your soul is like loose threaded. Let me just. He puts his hand on your head, and you feel solid for a second. And you see his arm like buff back to like a normal proportion. Oh, that one's a that was a doozy. Yeah, that was um a miss icker. I don't like that at all. Ah, uh, this is Magic Owl Man. Oh. This is the Dean. I saw the, the guy one. that selected us. Is that, does that mean I died? You just about did! If not for the uh, procting gargoyles, you probably would have left this plane. We would have had to, had to explain a couple things if you wanted us to. Uh, as we pull you back from the brink, which no one seems to like half the time. Can I just mention something? I'm, I, kind, you... of, I'm kind of a dumbass, but... Weren't we the experimental group? Define experiment? I just kind of liked you all as I hoped you would help me out around here. Um, this you is... Call this the... The, you called us the special group when we first got here? Yes, because I kind of pulled some extra strings to make sure you all could be grouped in various circumstances to stick together as a form of group and friendship and all that. Yeah, never, ever since then we've run into bullshit. The horrible abomination that was that ethereal shark that jumped out of a pond in the first test. Which the I have... golem that attacked us in the courtyard. And now, this test going wrong, his crystal, I point over at Skimari, exploding with purple light, knocking the proctor down on the ground. She's frothing at the mouth. She... What is going on? He looks over and is like, yes, I see two ch your charge was taken. You have used yours. Looks like G Money's crystal was used as the emergent resuscitation me mechanic, that's which where we give them most of the time. And it seems that this one, he holds out his hand and he snaps his fingers and the crystal pops into his hand. It's been tempered with. They've removed the, the inner function. Someone has removed the inner function of this and replaced it with something, and the crystal explodes. He just stares at it as it explodes. He, like, stops time in his hand. Clever. Very clever. Excuse me, I will have to leave you to go take care of this exploded mess in my hands now. As you see, it's just, like, stasis around his hands right now, holding it in place. I'm going to go study what I can. I will get back to you. But you've all... Technically, pass as you have made it out of the chamber as the test was ended properly before everything happened here. Um, yes, I please fill me in when I return as he pops out. Uh, do you want to just kind of look over at everybody that's you know still sane at this point? None of us. Oh, no, Brit. Br Bridget's Bridget's probably... gonna walk over to you and just kind of like grab around your waist. Are you okay? <laughs> I uh I don't know. Ah, uh, takes more than that to bring down a man as great as G Money. That was pretty scary, not gonna lie. You thought you saw your great grandfather for a moment. Here. Let's get out of this room before Something else bad happens. Things come over to us again. You all decide. The best place to go would go be at a place guess, you can go I ahead and like my flame breath. Be done with all the trials and tribulations. As you go to go. A wizard. Catch your breath. Back at the cafeteria. Well, see, now, 
Rich, I'm I'm wondering, has your mini downloaded yet? No, I I've know. been checking on it, and it's still <laughs> not a thing. Wow, really? Right? Can I tell people this is my second life now? <laughs> you didn't technically die, you just about did. Damn it. Well... I uh, this test did have yeah, safety wheels. This test has safety wheels because it's not the final. Oh, so the final work I'm gonna die. Okay, cool. I have to Matt's making me drink, guys. Hold on. <laughs> oh, wait. Shoot. I can do that too. I think there's a connection behind what happened with Skamari's crystal and the crystals going missing. I want to know what the fuck he was showing us about the uh, my fucking village dying. Did we all see different things? I didn't see anything. You did. You saw like a flash of like well, it looked like a veiled humanoid form that had that like... mass staring directly at you before you snapped away from the. Okay, I'll tell them that in a hushed voice. <laughs> I don't even know really what happened. Not gonna lie. Everything happened really fast. Should we just... fill in G Money what happened during the should. passed out portion of the okay, test? Hold on. Hold on. What happened to me first? Well, that creature's poison, I think the Dean called it Abyss Icker. It overcame you, and then your arm kind of exploded, and your soul almost left your body. I see. Yeah, just so good no. thing. Good thing. Good thing he's gonna beat his chest. Good thing that. Okay, actually, I can't come up with one this time. Damn it! Never mind. He's gonna he's gonna shake his head. It's got me all fucked up now. God damn it! Yes, Dad. Yeah, I'll be down in a few minutes. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> More whiskey for me. Oh boy. Ah. You see the barmaid. Finally, this barmaid also works at the island with this. Gimani, you look a little light in the eyes. You might want to take a swig of that. What am I taking a swig of? Janju like, looks like a standard potion, but it's. it's You've seen some of the bodybuilders take that after a long day of training. That should get you when souped up. the whole thing. You do, and it, it's comforting at this point, as it feels like a homely pleasure. Can I take a nap here now? Uh, she kind of rustles around and pulls out like small blanket. We get people pass it all the time and toss you a blanket to sit at the table with. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dead God, I'm just sipping out the drink, you fucks. Oh, <laughs> yes. I survived a near-death experience. Oh, that's a look in the eyes. I haven't seen that since my father nearly died to that car accident in the main city. Those I don't like those things. They don't run. They don't run like horses. You can't control them properly. I can. You can. But you can thank my. Well, I'm gonna wait. Or, am I still with the group? You all. You're at the table. She handed you like a blanket in case you wanted to pass out after your day. I'm gonna like point to these dude. Point to the dudes next to me. These guys were looking out for me. So like. Yeah. They I made know. sure they made sure, you know, I didn't actually die. Oh, drinks are on me after a little cool group. It looks like looks like you all passed your test, but those looks on your face doesn't look like complete defeat and looks more like annoyance, so uh yeah. Hey, hands a hands up. We <laughs> we'll passed get, it with we'll flying colors. <laughs> Ace group number one. Just wait for those results. You'll see us on the front page. You won't even have to wait for them. Wait for the newspaper. I'll be there as well. I'll do it, Jay. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we made it out of there. We can think. We, our group can make it through anything. Although, <laughs> I feel like if something didn't happen, I probably would be dead. So, you know, if those emergency, whatever you said, or whatever happened, didn't happen, then yeah, sure. But anyways, putting that behind us, because mm. let's just not think about that exact moment. <laughs> Grace says, hey, Richie, you made it back from your test, I see. I did. 
Past it with flying colors. How about yourself? Yeah, I did it last year. That was kind of doozy. Those three buggers they put you against are not too easy. I almost locked, almost got passed, passed out myself, but it held on strong. I managed to take two of them out, though. Feat that I imagine not many accomplish. <laughs> I, I, I hear that. So you got drinks, so I won't offer any. But uh, yeah, come by and hopefully we get some more interviews from the. With a first-person interview and a couple others, we can probably make a good piece on the newbies passing the test for the day. Catch you later. Look forward to it. As he seems to go over to other tables, like, talking to the people as well. So, Bridget will pull out her student card and just, like, to message these guys without everybody else hearing it. Just, like, relay the whole thing about the figure and the mask that she saw when the flash went off. Okay, you've relayed that to people. And that it was the same mask that was on the golem and the same mask that she saw during the first test. And that cannot be a coincidence. <laughs> and no one... I remember a teacher said that they were going to come in and talk to me about it, but they never did. <laughs> She's going to type out uh, and ask if uh, Bridget was looked up anything about the mask in the library or found anything. I haven't found anything so you, far. You, you have looked, but nothing matches anything. Trust me, I spend 90% of my day in the library. <laughs> That's why I asked you. But, no, I, I don't know what this is. But we're not being told everything, and I despise not knowing something that I need to. As you say that, a small, like, silence bubble appears around you. As pops in with Magical Man. Answers. Lovely. Comes back. <sighs> clever, clever little devils. Uh, sorry. Comes back and he, ha he has a, here's a new necklace for you, Skimari. He hands, hands a new necklace to you. Oh, I've taken... I have to get you a new one. This it's... one's not gonna explode, right? No, the last one was tampered with. So all these necklaces that are being stolen. Yes, I'm going to do a bit of a, a roundabout checking tonight and tomorrow. It's gonna be a fun one. Okay. As you I said, the rest of our necklaces haven't been tampered with. He he eyes you all, and you see his eyes are glowing like a violent clear blue. They all fine. The real problem is, why didn't anyone notice it till now? A lot of things seem to be going on without anybody noticing here at Strixhaven. Well, we have basically an entire city-wide campus to cover, but only so many hands, but still, we think we'd Wait, who is this? see more. It's the Dean again. But oh, regardless, geez. no time to prat and drattle on morbid things. How are you doing, G-Money? You feeling better? I want to sleep. Hmm. I feel really tired. Pulls out a small vial. Knock you right out tonight. If you let it rain in a couple hours, I, I swear. I, li I lifted weights, and then I read books, and then I did that, and I almost died, so, <laughs> yeah. But hey. That's I why we have safety protocols in the testing chamber. Still, it should not have gotten that bad. Yeah. This is the first time we've had so many near deck spoons in, in, since the last ten years. Oh, not, yeah. good my, not good on oh, my luscious jam. beards. Not good for this beard does, if I start losing stress hairs, I swear. It does seem kind of strange that our group has been the only one to run into these problems in this kind of fashion. Mm. You see his kind of, he kind of scrunches up as you mentioned that, kind of twiddling his beard a little. We have to do some investigation work. How many yeah. other students have been experiencing these kinds of issues? The first one, it was just you. That was, we assumed, a freak accident of some malfactored prankster, but, uh... When it came to that golem, we... I personally suspected there was official foul play afoot. 
and with now these necklaces going missing, and there are, we've already discovered three, not including the exploded one, it's been a bit of a day, and I'm, I'm assuming gonna, I'm going I'm, to really start digging him about around. The fucking man and the mask that I saw. So, so more of this figure in play crate. Can, At least uh, there's supposedly a target of all this. And yes, do you money? May I make a comment really fast? Um, so, something that I noticed was these necklaces would go. I would, so, kind of an observer, even though I'm, I look, I, even though I look like a <laughs> somebody that doesn't do that. I am quite the observer, and uh, a lot of people have been missing their necklaces, and then it, would, it comes back literally like the next day. Um, on that note, we had a weight go missing. Oh my God. And I'm now afraid that it's going to explode. Kind of weight? You mean from the iron lifters? There's many yes. weights there. Yeah. But it was one of the magical thing. ones, right? Oh. You He's like, "Yeah, we'll, we'll double check that today as well. Thank you for that." Uh, also, I don't know. I, there's plenty probably plenty of gnomes that go to the library, but there was a specific gnome. I'll, I don't remember what it What is he what did he look like? Shoot. He was a about 2 foot tall Amber haired dwarf I wearing like wearing like standard Strixhaven affairs. He was like wearing like, something you buy out of the school store. Yeah, well you, pro you probably don't know it's probably hard to I guess picture that, but you know, there was somebody in the library that apparently miss was missing their necklace as well. So that will take that and he quickly pulls out a scroll and you see like there was just like pictures on the scroll just flying past. Uh, five close matches. Which one? He pulls the scroll to you, and you see like the the second to the top one is the one that he's mentioned that you mentioning. Yeah, pointed him out. I, I pointed him out. That Thank one. you. Solid start on the leads here. Thank you. You should let him know that he's a really nice person. <laughs> you should really you should trying to save face. <laughs> Another thing that I'd like to point out is we were reading a book about underdark creatures that was given to us by a friend. Um. This particular book was written in Celestial Draconic. Draconic. Um, while I was reading it with Comprehend Languages, it tried to rebound me. Rebound how? As in... As we do have magical it, tomes that do have some sort of protections on them, but none should be any harmful. It was trying to keep me from reading it. Anything off about this book? Besides... It was missing... It, okay, so on... The Atyug, I don't know how to say that. Atyug. On page yeah, 263. Yeah, uh, on, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Miles, if you want to show him that. Yes, um, Miles kind of just like. Uh, oh, this was written by Chesselers back in the 20th Umbles. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Page directly after this one had been torn from the book. Oh, that one! That was on Spectre mo Motives. You were studying a strange subspecies of ghost that would go in and out causing ruckuses. Well. We wanted to locate one of the other books that was the same. We were given um, a description. Oh, wait, no. Charles, a uh, dragonborn? Green scales? He immediately pulls that same scroll up. Mm, this one, right? Uh, Charles, this green scales. Lucky there's only one green scale. Dragonborn Charles in our roster this year. And he looks as like one second, and he poofs away. Just gonna sit there in silence for about ten seconds. Poofs in. I am sorry. I have to discuss disclose me. We have a murder on our hands. Goodbye. Oop. What? what? We have and a see, murder on our hands? <laughs> he just fucking poofs out of yeah, it. Yeah, you, you see the silence bubble dissolve as he poofs away. As you um, see, you um, see, um, you see, oh, like, one of, like, the guards that they, one of the automated guards kind of, like, look around and he starts scanning around the room. Like, I'm just actively instead of passively now. 
guys. I'm scared. And with that, we call this to a close. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. So the only person that knew that we were looking for Daz, aside from somebody who may have overheard it in the library, or not Daz, was uh, Charles, was Daz. Mm -hmm. He's the only other person who knew we were looking for him. So if there was any kind of implication, guys, we might need to fucking have a powwow with this particular person. <laughs> Maybe not us. Maybe we should tell them. You've known Daz for roughly like two and a half weeks now, and he seems like a pretty chill minotaur. I know, but Never he's better. the only other person who would have known that information, unless somebody who had access to the library records. Mm -hmm. So okay. that has to narrow down the people who would know that he was in possession of the book. Do any of the librarians you've met, since you've met them all, seem sketchy? Everyone in the library seems pretty official. Well, it wouldn't have to be a librarian, it would just have to have somebody who had access to the records in the library. Would you or somebody seen... who was able to get into the records, which I would mm -hmm. assume are somewhat protected. Mm -hmm. Anything else we want to discuss before we call the session to a close? I have a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to be watching my back in the library from now on. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stay in... We need to be a, in the buddy system. So, when we can. Obviously, we, I can't go to your guys' classes, and you guys can't come to mine, so. so okay, you have Jerry is a buddy with everyone here. Works perfectly. At the drinking game. I'm guys. more surprised that Jim hadn't murdered me before this. <laughs> <laughs> he was planning on I'm telling he's still coming for your ass, man. He's coming for you. <laughs> All right, let's. We I have to bounce. That's, That's it. It was Jim this whole time. It was Jim. We will. We will implicate Jim in the murder. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> All right. Later, guys. Later. Later. Woo! Good session, everybody. Later. Good for a shorter one. Bye. Yep. With that, I wish the all a good day.